what's up with a happy Roblox family. Dr. Barker for seeing us today. Now, Molly, tell him what your symptoms are. I don't want it. Molly? Well, it's embarrassing. <sighs> Molly has been having some tummy troubles. Oh, I see. What kind of tummy troubles, Molly? Like the stomach bug or... Actually, she's been having a lot of gas <gasps> and running to the bathroom. Mom! This is humiliating! Molly, he's a doctor. It's totally fine. You probably just need to have an x-ray of your tummy or an ultrasound, and then they'll just give you some medicine and you'll feel all better. You don't want your stomach to hurt anymore, do you? Uh. I think it's a really good idea, Molly, for you to go in and have an ultrasound and an x-ray just to make sure there's nothing going on with your tummy, okay? Fine, let's do this. <laughs> Yeah. See, doctor? She definitely needs to be here. Hey, a little fart now and again isn't going to kill anybody. Oh, I don't know. That one just might. Okay, get in the x-ray machine and let's close the door quick before I die of s the smell. Oh, very funny, doctor. Very funny. Okay, Molly, I just need you to lie completely still. Perfect. Okay, mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back in the room and we'll have a little discussion with your mom. Fine. I hate going to the doctor, seriously. Sometimes coming to the doctor is necessary to keep you healthy. And it seems to me that you most definitely are lactose intolerant. What? What does that mean? It means you're allergic to milk and milk products. You can't have cheese or milk or what? I love cheese, especially on tacos and on soup mm. and on salads when you make me eat a salad, which is annoying, except for the cheese. I can't eat cheese anymore. Um, I'm really sorry, Molly, but you also can't have any, um, ice cream. Ah! This is the worst day of my life. Take it back. I don't want to be lactose intolerant. Please, doctor. I'll give you anything. I'll give you a million dollars. I don't have a million dollars, but please take it back. I'm sorry, it's the diagnosis. It's how your body works. You can learn to live with it. You can have almond ice cream. Almonds? Now, how on earth do they make almonds into ice cream? Ew! Now remember, Molly, what the doctor said. No more milk products or your tummy will really hurt. Uh-oh! This stinks! I know, Molly, but I'll try to pick up some new things at the store that you can try out and, um... They should be pretty good, I'm hoping. Ugh. Ugh this lousy apple tastes so healthy. Oh, I just want to eat something delicious like pizza. Ugh. Hey, Molly, what's up? How'd your doctor appointment go? Well, I guess it was fine. Oh, wow. Let's turn your phone upside down. My treat. We could go get ice cream. Wait, um, what? Yeah, my treat. We could get your favorite strawberry. Mmm. Um, uh, well, um, sure, why not? Yeah, you hesitated there, Molly. Are you sure that it'll be okay with your tummy and everything? It'll be just fine with my tummy. I'll make it fine with my tummy. Okay, let's go. Mm. This ice cream's delicious. Tell me about it. Mint chocolate chip is one of my favorites. So, Molly, did they tell you what was wrong with your tummy at the doctor? Um, uh, not really. Everything's just fine. Oh, that's good, Molly. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm just processing my ice cream, okay? All right, Molly, you don't have to get so rude about it. Mm, they really do have the best ice cream. Yes, sweetest in Brookhaven. Uh-oh. I don't feel so good. Why did I eat that ice cream yesterday? 
Uh. Oh, hey, Molly. How are you? Whoa. Molly, are you all right? It looks like you're going to, like, faint or barf. I know. My stomach is kind of being weird. Uh, Molly, you don't think it's from that ice cream, do you? No, I'm sure it's not from that. I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, class. Everybody settle down. Wow, it looks like a lot of people are out today. Must be the flu bug again. I think Molly might have the <gasps> flu. No, I don't. I'm fine. I swear, I'm fine. Molly, are you sure you're not in denial about what the doctor said? I'm fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I feel like I have to fart, but I can't do it in class. That'll be so embarrassing. Oh, why? Why me? Oh, well, good morning, Logan. Thank you for joining us. Oh, no. There's Logan. I hope he doesn't notice that my stomach's being weird. Whoa, well, Molly, why are you such a funny color? Do you have to, like, fart or something? <laughs> what? No, I don't have to fart. No, I don't have to fart. Oh, what is going on with my stomach? Come on, stomach. Work with me here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she actually drank me. I know, and now I get to exist once again. What kind of fart should I send her? Silent but deadly? <laughs> I'll embarrass her in front of everybody in the classroom. Thanks to you, Milk. We really do make a good team, don't we, Gas? Should I send her a silent but deadly? Or should I make it so loud the entire school blows up <gasps> with a fart? <laughs> oh, what's going on with my stomach right now? Molly, don't fart. D -d -d don't do it. Hold it in. Hold it in. <laughs> she can't hold me in forever. I'm about to burst onto the scene and make a party. A farty party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gas, you're so funny. What's this? I can just move around a lot in here? <laughs> Her tummy will be bubbling all over the place. <laughs> oh, wait. Who's that? Uh-oh. Oh, no. You spoil all the fun. Step aside, Gas. The big boss is here. Oh, man. You spoil all the fun. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, teacher... Teacher, teacher, teacher! Yes, Molly, what is it? I have to go potty. Right now, right now! Molly, you always say you have to go to the bathroom and then you never come back to class. You skip class and say that you have to go to the bathroom. Not today. We have a quiz and I actually need you to pass it so you don't have to repeat this grade again. No, 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 no. I know a lot of other times I was just fibbing about having to go to the bathroom, but this time I really do! Let me go to the bathroom. Seriously, please, 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 please. Um, teacher, I don't think Molly is kidding around. I'm not kidding around! Let me go! Molly, do I need to give you detention? Uh-oh! Can't hold it in! I can't, 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 can't hold it in! Ah! Dude, she's gonna blow! Good student. Wow, congratulations, Molly. Yay! Hopefully you can actually succeed. Well, uh, <laughs> no promises. Whoa, I wonder who that could be. It's probably Brookie. She texted me earlier and said her mom is going on this health kick, so she's only putting fruits and vegetables in the house. Yeah. And she knows we have donuts. <laughs> Coming, Brookie! Where's Brookie? Maybe she's already in the kitchen eating a donut. No, no, Brookie. What? what? Did Amazon deliver a package? Oh, boy, I love presents. Maybe my mom got me one because I've been doing my homework lately. Whoa, Molly, where's Brookie? 
Um, she's not here, but... You got a present, I know! <coughs> Did Pookie bring that? No, it was just out front. I think maybe Amazon delivered it. Let me see that. To Molly and Daisy? From a secret in Iowa? <gasps> Someone wants to ask me to the dance. La 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 la. Well, then why would it be to both of us? Oh yeah, good point. I thought it was because I was doing my homework, but you always do your homework, so why should you get a prize? Hey, wait a minute. That doesn't seem fair. Well, let's open it and find out who it's from. Daisy, it's an invitation. An invitation to what? I hereby announce that you've been invited to a royal sleepover? What? That's amazing! Yeah, but who invited us? Love your secret admirer. I don't know. Hmm, something seems kind of fishy about this, Molly. I don't know if we should go. Are you kidding me? I know exactly who it's from. It could be for some crazy person <laughs> who just wants us to go to their house. Or... It could be from that new famous YouTuber that just moved into Brookhaven, but she wants to keep her new friends on the down low, so she's invited us over to her mansion. I don't know, Molly, but you could be right, so we should at least go and check it out. And the sleepover's tonight, so we've got to go pack a bag. Come on, Daisy. This is so exciting. Why did you put the package in the elevator? Oopsie. I didn't mean to stash the box in there. I guess I was supposed to take it to the trash. <laughs> now it's stuck in the elevator. Okay, that's kind of funny. Come on, Daisy. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. All right, all right. I'm ready, Molly. Jeepers creepers. I still don't know about this. Daisy, you jumped over the railing. You're not supposed to do that. Mom said you'll get a timeout. Well, I'm just so excited. I couldn't think as to wait and... I just want to get to the sleepover. I thought you thought it was going to be creepy. Well, I'm not sure yet, but I can't wait to find out. And look at Molly. A limo actually came to pick us up. Holy guacamole. Fancy. This is going to be an amazing sleepover. I just know it. Come on, Daisy, get in. Molly, seriously? Are you going to hang your head on the sunroof the entire ride? Whee! Whoa, it's freezing out here, but I don't care. This is amazing. <laughs> Daisy, are you driving? Well, the driver decided that he was going to not show up, so I'm just going to drive us over there. I have the address and everything. Well, drive careful. You don't want to chop my head off on one of those bridges. Well, then you better actually get in here. Can't. Have to have so much fun. Whee! <laughs> Never drove in a limo before. Whee! <laughs> Holy macaroni! Is this where the sleepover is? I think so, Molly. This is where the address was. Wow. I bet they're going to have the most delicious pizza ever. Oh, great. What are you losers doing here? What are we doing here? What are you doing here? I'm here for the exclusive sleepover, duh. And you guys are way too well losers to go to the sleepover. Oh, yeah? Well, here's our invitation, Sarah. We got one, too. Wait, you got an invitation, Sarah? Uh, yeah, duh. Hey, guys, what's up? Brookie, what are you doing here? I got an invitation to a really cool sleepover at this amazing mansion. But wait a minute. I thought this was a hotel that closed down years ago. Well, obviously somebody bought it and moved in here and made it a house. I think that's amazing. I don't know about this, guys. Something is telling me in my tummy that this isn't right. What are you talking about? It's probably an invite from that new famous YouTuber that moved into Brookhaven. That's exactly what I told her, Sarah. Whoa. We actually thought alike for once, Sarah. I don't think so. I would never think like you. You're an ignoramus. Hey, look, we all got invited to this sleepover, Sarah, which means we all need to get all along. I don't know, Maddie. I think we should go home. Don't be ridiculous. This place looks amazing. Who's going? Um, I am. I am. And so am I. Daisy and Rob. Okay, fine. But only because I don't want you guys to get in trouble without me. Come on, guys. Let's go. Whoa. Look at this place. Yeah, it 
It's amazing. What was that? What was the sound of the door locking? Wait, what? No, no that can't be right. It, the, the door is locked. Molly, I told you this was a bad idea. Um, well, like, let's nobody panic. I mean, it's probably just a lock-in party. Those are very exclusive. Yeah, guys, look at the size of this television. It's amazing. Uh, Brooke, I don't think that's a television. I think that's actually, like, where you check in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oopsie. It kind of looked like a TV to me. But look at this. They have an indoor pool. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, um, I'm sure it's just one of those lock-in parties. Right, Daisy? I don't know. I told you I felt really crazy about this before we got here. And now it's in an old abandoned hotel. And where's the people who are hosting the party? Yeah, that's a good question. Where's the host? What just happened to the lights? I, 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 OMG, Molly. This is freaking me out. Yeah, me too. Oh, wait, the lights just came back on. Maybe it's just short-circuited. Now, where is that host that's, like, supposed to be here to celebrate this sleepover with us? I'm sure they're around here somewhere. Maybe they didn't hear us show up. Um, I think they heard us because, well, uh, the door locked. Molly, I think I just saw the host. What? Well, what? It was somebody standing right behind Sarah. Don't be ridiculous. There's nobody standing behind Sarah. Oh, this is so lame. Where's all the pizza? Oh my god! Did you guys just see that? It was like a ghost or something! Ah! Oh my god, this was a really bad idea! Ah, ah. The doors are locked! We can't even get out of here! What are we gonna do now? It's, 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 it's a ghost! We are gonna try not to panic. Okay, everybody huddle together. We have to decide what to do. <laughs> But you never listen to me. Well, I just think the sleepover is lame. Of course it's lame. It's given by a ghost or something. Well, guys, let's just think about this, okay? We just have to try to survive the night. And then maybe the doors will unlock in the morning. I've seen this movie, I think, before. Really? I don't know, but one like it. So let's go upstairs and see if we can find a bedroom. Well, we can't barricade the door or anything because the ghost can still get in. No, but we should try to get some rest. I mean, I'm sure this isn't the last we've seen of the ghost. Well, first maybe we should check the refrigerator. I'm hungry. <laughs> a few minutes later. What? No refrigerator? This really is a creepy nightmare sleepover! Wait, I smell something. It smells kind of like food. Ooh. <laughs> Score! Mm, that's pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. Molly, that could be poison. Stay away from that. Doesn't taste like poison. It tastes very good. Ay, 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 Molly, come on. Let's go up to the bedroom that we can find and 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 try to get some rest. Molly, if I have to be trapped in a creepy hotel with anyone, I'm glad it's my BFF. Aww. Me too, me too. Okay, let's stay in Emerald Room. That seems like a good room, right? Wow, everything's so green. <laughs> She's in this room! Nope! Emerald Room is a definite no! Definite no on the Emerald Room! Let's find a different one! Holy guacamole! Next floor, please! Ooh. The Royal Room? This seems pretty cool! I am, I am royalty! Wow! This is a pretty posh bathroom! Yep, this one's a go for me! And if there's no ghost, that's even better! Look at this artwork, though! That artwork looks like it has eyes! It's kind of creeping me out! Molly, where's everyone else? I don't know. Maybe they got lost on the way. Or maybe they're not royalty, so they can't stay here. <laughs> Molly, I don't think that's it. But seriously, though, what's up with the artwork in this hotel? Like, this is art? It looks like a prison cell. <laughs> they need to upgrade their art here. 
Um, where is my sister, though? I, and where is Sarah? Wait, how do I get out of this room? Alright, here's the door. Let's go see if I can find them. Daisy! Sarah! Where are you? Come on, we're in the royal room! Holly, did you find Sarah and Daisy? No. I think we better go back to the first floor. Maybe they got lost on the way here. After we saw that ghost, everybody sort of just scattered. Rookie! Look, it's a grown-up! Hi! Hi, I'm Molly, and, and I got this creepy invitation. Well, I didn't think it was creepy, but it's actually creepy. And, 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 and I, I... Molly, slow down. He can't understand anything you're saying. Okay, I got this invitation to come to a sleepover here, but when I got here, all there was was a creepy ghost, and she locked us in! Creepy ghost, you say, huh? Mmm, I see. Can you help us? Call 911! Or open the door or something! <laughs> <gasps> Molly, why is he laughing like that? <laughs> Seriously, why are you laughing like that? Do you have like a laughing thing that you do? Like, is that how you laugh? <laughs> yeah, his laugh is pretty weird. <laughs> Yeah, Molly, she just disappeared one day. They said everyone bullied her so much and didn't pay attention to her that she literally vanished. <gasps> what? Ah! Ah, we're stuck in this hotel with Crazy Marie? Ah! Molly, what are we going to do? I don't know, but I would say whatever we do, no one falls asleep. Do you understand? Yes, Molly, I won't fall asleep. Trust me. Well, I'm kind of tired right now. So... Wake up, Brookie! This is no time for sleeping! And where is Sarah? I don't know, Molly. But I think maybe we... She took... Brookie! Don't close your eyes! Don't! Oh, sorry. I'm just so sleepy. I didn't get enough sleep last night. And so tonight I was like... Wondering if I was going to be able to stay awake for the sleepover, and the answer is probably no. Well, get serious about staying awake because there she is again! Ah! <laughs> I, I just, just want, want to be seen. Let's play! I never had a sleepover. Ah! <laughs> Molly! Sorry, I tried to hold it in, but when I get nervous, I sort of fart a lot. <laughs> Ew, Molly, that smells like a bean burrito. With rotten eggs on top. <laughs> uh, oopsie. I don't know where Sarah is, but Marie is not going to take us down. Huddle in close, friends. We're about to discuss our plan. <laughs> oh, Marley, you still smell like a rotten egg. Why are you making us come in close? Well, unless you want Marie to hear us. My plan is this. Look, everybody knows what happened to Marie. Everybody ignored her or bullied her. And she just sort of disappeared. So maybe if we listen to her and tell her we'll be her friend, she'll stop haunting this old hotel. I don't know, Miley. That's risky. I don't see how we have any other choice. I mean, she's got us locked in here. Yeah, she has a point, Daisy. We have to try. Okay, well, I, I guess we can try. All right, let's split up. Absolutely not! Are you crazy? Okay, well... If we want to have a chance of talking to her, we should probably do it one-on-one. -on -one. We don't want her to think we're going to bully her. She's got a point, Daisy. Okay, I'll go upstairs to one of those creepy rooms. I'll go to the kitchen because if we send Molly to the kitchen, she'll get distracted and just want to eat food the entire time. Hey, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. <laughs> okay, I'll stand in front of the elevator because that's where she seems to appear the most. Just remember... Be really nice. <laughs> okay, okay, don't be freaked out. Hi, Marie, it's me, Molly, and um, I don't know where you went, maybe back into the walls or something, but I just wanted to say I know what happened to you at Brookhaven High, and it wasn't your fault. You were probably a good person, and everyone ignored you. 
And when you tried to say, hey, I'm Marie, people bullied you. That wasn't fair. Go away! You'll never be my friend! No, no, listen. I can be your friend, Marie. I, I promise, I'm a good friend. I mean, I don't do my homework very often, so don't ask me for tutoring, but I know how to have fun. I know how to make pizza. Pizza, Marie! Remember when you used to love pizza? Wait, did you like pizza? Are you lactose intolerant? Too much talking! I don't like talking! Well, um, maybe you just need someone to listen. I'm a pretty good listener. Do you want me to listen? Oh, well, I guess so. Ah! Oh, you're creepy looking. Thanks, that's not a real good way to start a friendship. No one has seen me for 50 years. Whoa, really? No, just kidding. <laughs> it's only been 10, but <laughs> you believed it, which is kind of funny. Jeez, I can't imagine why nobody wanted to be your friend. Also a joke! <laughs> okay, don't make me go back to ghost status. Because I will. Whoa, calm down. Calm down. Anyway, my name is Molly, and my sister Daisy's here. My best friend, Brookie, and, well, Sarah. She's not the nicest, but, you know, we tolerate her. <laughs> um, well, do you want to be my friend? <gasps> of course I'd be your friend. I don't know if I could ever go back to Brookhaven. I mean, everyone teased me and then just ignored me. Well, you could be our friend, but you have to stop being a ghost. I I can try. You can do this. I know you can, Marie. Just think happy thoughts. Think I have friends. Marie, you're doing it! Marie, you did it! I feel so, so human. That's because you are human, Marie! And you're important. And you matter! Oh. Aww. I've never had a friend like you. Uh, but could we never go back to that creepy Marie where you talk like, Aah! And also, um, you're like a ghost? Yeah, that was pretty creepy. Sorry about that. And where's our friend Sarah? Oh, um, I just heard that she was kind of a bully, so... I, uh, stuck her in a wall. What? Uh, Bree, you probably should undo that. That's a little bit psycho behavior. Okay, okay, no problem. And also, would you mind unlocking the door? Yeah, but you are gonna be my friend after you walk out the door, right? Marie, of course. Uh, you know, you don't have to force me to be your friend just so I can leave. We'll just be your friend. Oh, I see Marie is back to her normal self. That's good. Um, try not to be crazy again. Uh -oh. Hey, it wasn't all her fault. She had a rough childhood. Well, thanks for me, my friends, guys, and coming for my coming to my sleepover. Well, it was definitely the most creepiest one I've ever been to. <laughs> so you win an award for that. For sure. But Marie, we're here for you. We're your friends now. Oh, yeah, really, baby Kira? I have no idea what you just said. Girls, it's time to do your chores. But, Mom, we're watching this amazing TV show. What? About a raccoon? Yeah, Mom, it's really interesting. This adorable raccoon is basically just hanging out, being lazy. Um, sounds a lot like you, girls. You both have chores, and you haven't done them yet. I did a blah, 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 blah. Yeah, my exact thoughts. Why doesn't baby Kira have to do chores? I'm not sure that's what she said, Miley. Yeah, I think it's what she said. I don't want to do chores. Well, but you girls need to help me. You're you're so grown up now. You, you can vacuum. You can do the dishes. Well, what does baby Kira have to do? She can just stay here and watch the raccoons on TV and, you know, not get anybody's way while we're vacuuming. But, Mom, I want to stay here and watch the adorable, lazy raccoon. I mean, look at him. He's at a wildlife shelter, just like recuperating. And, you know, he got injured. Someone, like, hit his foot with a car. And it's a crazy story, Mom. Oh, that's lovely, Molly. But right now, what I need you to do is vacuum the floor. I don't want to. Baby Kira doesn't have to. That's because she's a baby. And when you're a baby, you get away with everything. I did the bubba did the bubba did the why, yeah. Yeah, you are lucky, baby Kira. You get to chill out on the couch and watch a raccoon show. 
This isn't even fair. Sticky old chores. Ugh. Molly, could you switch with me? I, I need to do the vacuuming. What? No, I don't like doing the dishes. But I can't, Molly. I broke my wrist and remember? I'm not sure mom actually remembered. Because if she did, she'd probably have me doing the vacuuming and you doing the dishes. What? No, I hate doing the dishes. There's all that food stuck to the plates and then it gets under my fingernails. It's so gross. Molly, I have to vacuum because I, I can't get my cast wet. Ugh, fine. Ugh, I hate being so grown up. Stinky old dishes. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Well, this isn't so bad. I mean, I at least have one arm that I can vacuum with. <laughs> Molly, are you almost done doing the dishes? Yeah, seems like it took forever. Like, I'm pretty sure uh, it took me at least a year. That's a year of my life I can't get back, Mom. A year! Molly, you've been doing the dishes for 15 minutes. Now it's time to get your homework done. But, but, Mom, I just finished my chores! I know, growing up is so hard, isn't it, Molly? I can't have any more responsibilities! Oh, Molly, you're just getting used to being a grown-up, that's all. I'm not a grown-up. I know, but we start practicing when you're this age. <laughs> no! Oh, my gosh, I don't, ah, I don't want to do any more responsibilities. Daisy, help! I'm not in charge here, Molly. I can't help you. Well, at least I can do my work on the computer. I hate having to write things out with a pen. No one will be too upset if I just play Roblox for a little while, right? I mean, holy guacamole, all this responsibility. It's too much for me. It's too much. What? A new Roblox game? Costs 50 Robux to play. Wait a minute. How much do I have in my bank account? Zero dollars? That's okay. I'll ask mom for some money. Mom! Mom! Yes, Molly? Hmm, what am I going to make for dinner tonight? Mom, um, can, can I have some money? For what, dear? Are you done with your homework? Um, uh, well, I'm working on it. But anyway, there's something that I want a whole lot. And I've been doing my my responsibilities and um well what is it molly is it something for school of course i can help you pay for something if it's for school no it's so i can buy robux because there's this game on roblox i want to play and molly you have a job you have your own money now well uh don't tell me you spent all your money what could you possibly spend all your money on well um it all started when i can't believe that i'm the ice cream truck driver this must be the best job in the entire world. OMG, I love the ice cream truck. Can't wait to go inside and see what it's like. What? Ever since I got my driver's license, I'm like the most best dream job ever would be driving the ice cream truck and serving all this delicious ice cream. I wonder what it's like inside. And now I'm finding out. Look at this, chocolate, vanilla, birthday cake, bubble gum, and mint chocolate chip. Yes, delicious. All right, well, I guess I should be open for business. Yeah, this is the best job ever. The best job! Hello, can I get some service down here? Daisy? Yeah, I want an ice cream of five. They sound delicious. What you got up there? Oh, we've got everything delicious. What What can I get for you? I'll have um, a scoop of birthday cake, please. Okay, one scoop of birthday cake coming up. I'm just gonna get a cone and then go over here, get the birthday cake. Mmm, this smells delicious. Oh, that's pretty good. Ah, you're not supposed to lick the customer's ice cream cone. That's disgusting. Well, I gave you two scoops, so that was too much. So I'm just gonna lick one, one of the scoops and then give you the other. Forget it. That sounds disgusting. Okay, well, I guess I'll just eat the whole thing then. And while I'm at it, mmm. Look at that chocolate. That looks good, too. Mmm. Oh, this chocolate looks good. Mmm. So good. Mmm. And, um, by the end of the day, I had eaten all the ice cream. Oops. And, well, uh, my boss sort of made me pay for all of the ice creams, and then he fired me. What? You lost your job already? You only worked one day, Molly. Well, that's why I don't have any money. So can I have some for Robux? Uh, no. And also, no! Now go do your homework. Oh, man! This stinks. Look at Baby Kira is still watching the adorable raccoon. That's it. I've decided I'm no longer going to be responsible. I don't want grown-up training. Grown-up training sounds awful. Doo-doo! 
Yucky! Miserable! Ugh! Charlie, what are you doing? Why are you pulling out all those old baby clothes of ours? Because I've decided I'm going back to being a baby. What? What are you talking about? You're being crazy right now. Um, I'm not crazy. Here's the thing. Mom expects us to try to do this grown-up training where we have all these responsibilities. It's too much. I can't do homework and chores on the same night, especially when the Rogue Raccoon um, TV show is on. It's my favorite. Oh, my gosh. My sister's having a nervous breakdown. Pretty much. I'm reverting. I'm going back to being a baby. Uh, Molly, I don't think this is going to work. Seriously. If you can't beat him, join him, Daisy. Here, I got a little onesie for you, too. <laughs> I remember that bunny ears hat. It's ridiculous. What? I think it's adorable. And ga 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 go 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 ba 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 Oh yeah, you're just trying to be just like baby Kiwa. Pretty much. Whoa, did you just take your brace off? You're not supposed to take your cast off. Well, for being a baby, I sort of have to. Okay, don't break your wrist again. Ugh, if it wasn't bad enough, you broke it the first time. We couldn't even go to Chuck E. Cheese because of that. Oh, yeah. Not like it was, like, really awful for me or anything, Molly. Wee! Wee! What is that sound? Baby Kira, are you crying? Are you okay? I think I'm okay. i Molly and Daisy, your babies. What? What are, you, what are you talking about? Molly? Daisy? Daisy? Why are you dressed like babies? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Girls, that's enough of that. Now, come on. I want the animal responsibilities, so I'm not doing them. I'm a baby again. Too bad. Molly. You, Daisy. I, I, okay, I would expect this from Molly, but I would not expect this from you, Daisy. You like responsibilities. Well, everybody needs a break. You're working us too hard. I just don't want to do that. And now, excuse me, I'm having a snack. <laughs> Looks like you have three babies now. And guess what, Mom? <laughs> I just made a poo poo. You better not have, Molly. You're not even wearing a diaper. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not done yet. Oh, my gosh. I want Baba! Oh my gosh, I'll get you a bottle. Just just stop crying like that. Oh, I can't deal with three babies at once. It's like having triplets. Molly, it's actually working. I know. No responsibilities. And you and me, we get to watch the raccoon TV show. <laughs> Look at him. He's so adorable. Where's my bottle? I also want a donut. Molly, babies don't eat donuts. You have to just eat a bottle. I want a donut, though, too. Well, I don't really think you can. You're a baby. Daisy, I'm not really a baby. I'm just pretending to be a baby. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Mmm, this is going to be so delicious. <laughs> Ew, what is this? It's baby formula. Don't you remember how delicious baby formula is? No, ew, that gross. I don't like it. Molly, are you having a temper tantrum? That's it. Time for you to take a nap. What? I don't take naps anymore. No. Naughty little baby. Ow, stop kicking me. Ouch, you're kicking me. Molly, you, uh, you want to act like a baby? Then you're going to be treated like one. Good night. No, I don't want to get in bed. I'm not doing it. Good night, Molly. Have a good nap. Oh, maybe being a baby isn't all that's cut out to me. This kind of stinks. Or maybe that's just the smell of my super dirty diaper. <laughs> I'm sneaking out of here. <laughs> she doesn't get to tell me what to do like a baby. Nah, 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 nah. I'm sneaking out. Molly, what are you doing? Hey, you're not dressed like a baby anymore. That's because being a baby isn't what it's cracked up to be. Mom, Molly snuck out. She thinks she doesn't have to do what you tell her. Well, first of all, whether you're a baby or not, I'm still your mom, so you have to do what I tell you to your actual grown-up. Second of all, since you want to be a baby, you're going to get treated like one. Time out, chair. Time out, chair. Da -da 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 -da.
Oh, Molly, you're going to get in trouble. You shouldn't say bad words in baby talk. But, 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 but. No buts about it, Molly. Time out, chair. <laughs> Being a baby is, is terrible. And very annoying for me, Molly. Are you done being a baby? No. I don't want to ever not be a baby because then I have to go back to having responsibilities. But also, this is kind of annoying too. I don't know what to do. Should I be a baby or should I not? Oh. Well, Molly, if you can't beat him, join him. You might as well act like, well, your own age again. Ugh, I hate when my sister has a point. <laughs> on the soccer team if it's the last thing I do. I just have to practice a lot and then I'll get really good and I'll be able to make it when I try out for the soccer team. They'll make me, um, maybe they'll make me soccer team captain. O-M-G. Uh-oh. I dropped my, my, my soccer ball in, in Sarah's fountain. Oh, whatever. Are you serious? You are so terrible at soccer. I mean, you put it in my fountain. What were you even thinking? Um, sorry about that, Sarah. I didn't mean to. I was just practicing and, and well, I'm, I'm trying to get better so I can make it out of the soccer team. You will never be good enough to be on the soccer team. You're such a loser. Don't even bother practicing. Why would you say that, Sarah? I I'm working really hard. Because it's the truth. Ugh. Once a loser, always a loser. Oh, <laughs> that was really mean of you to say. <laughs> Molly, are you okay? What's going on? I'm fine. I want to talk about it. <laughs> Molly, what's wrong? Are you okay? You never call me. You always text. I'm not okay. I, 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 Molly, come down. Tell me. You can tell me anything. I know. That's why I called you because you're my best friend. But I was playing soccer and, and Sarah was bullying me about being terrible. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry she was saying that to you. That's, that's really not nice. Um, Molly, I'm so sorry, but I have to go do some homework now. But can we talk tomorrow? Yeah. I'm sorry, Molly. I'm sorry you're hurting right now. But don't forget, we're BFFs. I know. Thanks for listening, Brookie. Bye. Brookie! Hey, good morning! Oh, what's Sarah doing? Hey, Brookie. Nice to see you. Good morning. Sarah, why are you talking to my best friend? I didn't know it was illegal to talk to people at school. Well, well, but she's my best friend! Um, Molly, it's okay. Everything's fine. Don't freak out. Not everything is fine! I... What? Are you feeling kind of jealous? <laughs> Maybe she wants to talk to me too, Molly. You don't own Brookie. Whatever! Oh, this is such the worst day of my life ever! Molly, what's going on? Are you okay? No, I'm having another bad day and it just started. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry you're having such a rough time. But we have to skip ready for this quiz we're having in math class. I can't even think about the quiz. All I can think about is the fact that... My best friend is becoming friends with Sarah, who's a giant bully! Aww. Okay, class, um, everybody come on in, come on. We have a quiz today. Molly, did you study? Yeah, sort of. Aww, could this day get any worse? Probably. I mean, you also look terrible in that orange-yellow sweater or whatever it is. Oh my gosh, now she's picking on my fashion sense, too? Wow. This test is so much harder than I thought it would be. This test is a piece of cake. Oh, no wonder she thinks it's easy. She's so much smarter than me. I'm such a loser. Molly, don't say that. I just feel terrible about myself today. Sarah's really making me feel down. Okay, everybody, please hand in your test. Uh, the, uh... Test? I thought it was a quiz! Sorry, I meant quiz. The, the, uh, the class is over, so, uh, yeah, I just need to go get a cup of coffee. It's Monday and my brain's not awake yet. Okay, no problem, Mr. Jared. Phew, I'm glad that math test is over, quiz, whatever, whatever it was! It was horrible and I don't ever want to take it ever again. <laughs> Time to get out my books from English class. What's this? It's a letter, I wonder who it could be from. 
Dear Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean. My BFF is Sarah. At least she's honest. Oh my gosh. Rookie... Brittany doesn't want to be my friend anymore! <laughs> I don't know what I ever did wrong, but I don't think that I'm mean or a liar. Molly, are you in here? You missed all of English class. Molly, are you with you? Just go away, Daisy. Molly, I know I'm only your sister, but if you need me to be, I could be your friend too. Come on out, Molly. Talk to me. Oh, I... I'm having the worst life ever! Oh, there, there, Molly. I'll give you a hug and then make you feel a lot better. It doesn't make me feel... Okay, it made me feel a little bit better, but... But I can't figure out why Brookie doesn't like me anymore! What? Brookie doesn't like you anymore? This is news to me. What's going on, Molly? I saw her hanging out with Sarah this morning. She was probably just talking to her to be nice. Yeah, but then I got this letter in, the, in my locker. What? Let me see that. It says... Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean, and I want to be best friends with Sarah because at least she's honest. Holy guacamole! This must sort of be some sort of huge misunderstanding. It must be, Molly. You know Brookie loves you. You're her best friend, and you've been that way since preschool, since you were toddlers. Well, this letter says it all. Our friendship, it's over. Well, Molly, at least we're having pizza for lunch. Well, yeah, I guess that is a plus. You, you can't you can't knock having pizza for lunch. Well, but it's still making me really upset. Come on, Molly. The pizza will at least make you smile a little. You gotta be hungry. Yeah, I am pretty hungry. Okay, let's go to lunch. Pizza makes everything better, right? <gasps> oh my God! Brookie and Sarah are sitting next to each other. That letter must be true. Oh look, it's a loser, Brookie. Ugh, don't let her sit next to us. Well, um, uh. Oh, <laughs> everyone hates me, including my best friend. <laughs> Just hide behind this dumpster where nobody can find me. That's all anybody thinks I'm worth, trash. <laughs> We've been friends since we were toddlers, and now she doesn't even like me anymore. <laughs> Who's texting me? Oh, it's Brookie. I'm, I'm not even going to look at it. I mean, why should I? She's, she's not even my friend anymore. I mean, she's made it clear that she doesn't want to be my friend. So why just keep sending me texts to be mean to me or something? I don't need to look at those. I, I don't need to look at them. We're not friends anymore. 20 minutes later. Ha! Ah, what are you guys doing here? Well, we are walking home from school. You missed the rest of the day. Yeah, Molly, what were you thinking? Skipping school? Ugh, you're obviously not a good student. Well, um, that was never in question, was it? I mean, what's in question here is if I was a good friend and I don't think I was a bad one. I mean, I, I never have lied to you and, and I don't think I was mean to you. And if I have been, I, I... We don't want to hear it. Ugh, what's that smell? Oh, you smell like a dumpster. No wonder you're next to it because <laughs> you smell like garbage. Molly, I'm sorry, but... Sarah just seems like a better friend. I mean, at least she's honest. Yeah, but she's a bully. You want to be a bully? Well, I mean, you just don't know her like I do, okay? So, um, we're breaking up as friends. What? You don't want to be my friend anymore? Sorry, Molly, but no, I don't. I just want to be Sarah's friend now, and she's going to be my, my BFF, right, Sarah? Yeah, whatever. We're going to be BFFs. This is going to be awesome. I mean, she brings me coffee in the morning from Starbucks, so she's pretty cool. Listen to the yourself, Brookie. She's not a real friend. She's a bully. Molly, you're not going to change my mind about this. I want to be Sarah's friend. Well, I guess all of those years of us being BFFs mean nothing to you. You're right, Molly. They don't mean anything to me anymore. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> my life as I know it is over. It's just over. I mean, I don't even have a BFF anymore. Who am I even? Whoa, Molly, is your day still going really, really bad? Totally. Sarah and Brookie found me by the dumpster. What were you doing by the dumpster? Ew, it kind of smells bad. Don't remind me. They already did. What's going on, Molly? She decided she doesn't want to be my BFF anymore. What? So the letter was true? Yeah, every word. She's going to be Sarah's BFF. Oh, Molly, do you need a hug? Yes, I need a hug!
a hug. <laughs> except for except for Brookhaven, we're like ghosts. We can't actually hug each other. <laughs> well, we can just hug like this, Molly. Here you go. There's a good hug for you. Oh, a Brookhaven hug. It'll have to do. <laughs> Molly, I'm always here for you, even though we don't get along. Sometimes I'm your sister, and I love you. And I'll be your BFF until you find a new one. But what about Brookie? I thought she was my everything! My BFF! Well, Molly, I'm sorry you've had such a bad day. I hope things get better for you. Me too. Me too! I got all my homework done. Now I can sit down and play a game. Hmm, what should I play? Roblox Piggy, of course. <laughs> I love that game. Computer, why won't you work? Ugh. Molly, don't hit the keys on your keyboard, please. But mom, my computer's not working. Okay, well, we'll have to call the repairman then and see what's going on with it. Oh, man. Daisy. Daisy, Daisy. Molly, what do you want? Right now I am playing a game. Okay, but can I use your computer for like half an hour? No, of course you can. I love this game. It's so much fun. Every time I play it, I'm like, yay, this is so much fun. It's so much fun. Daisy, you are talking so much right now. I'm like super fast. Slow down for a second. Just shh. Molly, don't tell me to be quiet in my own room. How rude. You could get out now. Really seriously, get out. No, Daisy, I need to borrow your computer for like 30 minutes because uh, my brain has melted from doing homework. And, well, it's not working. Your computer's not working? That's because you always bang on the keyboard. If you didn't bang on the keyboard, you wouldn't have that problem. Daisy, can I use your computer? No, I already said that. Now, I have to get back to this super amazing game. Oh, man. Fine. Ooh, the brightly colored unicorn. Oh boy, my new cooking show is on. Mom said I could watch this. What? No! I was watching TV. I want to watch a brightly colored unicorn. Sorry, Molly. I already got permission to watch this show. What? No! I was watching it first. Molly, she asked like a half an hour ago. Okay, Daisy, but could you watch it after? Because I was already watching the brightly colored unicorn. No! No, I can't. Ugh! You say no to everything! Ugh! Well, I guess I'll work on my unicorn painting since I can't watch TV and I can't play on my computer. Ugh, what's a girl to do? Molly, Molly, ooh, I love your unicorn painting, but I would do it with more purple, of course. Daisy, I didn't ask for your opinion. Well, I think you need it because I'm a better artist than you. I won that award last year at school. Daisy, seriously, get out of my room. Molly, I don't think so. You need my help with this. Oh, M G. Does anybody have a sister like this, or is it just me? I wish more than anything, Daisy could only say one word, and the word was yes. Whoa! I feel weird. What's happening to me? I I I feel so weird. Daisy, do you still feel feel weird now? Yes. Okay. Um, can I use your computer? Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute, why did I say, say, yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, I think my, my wish came, came true. Daisy, can you say anything other than yes? Yes. Okay, let's hear it. Say something other than yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Daisy, are you freaking out? Yes, yes, yes. Girls, what's going on right now? Nothing's wrong. Daisy, you're super fine, right? Yes! 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 Uh, see, Mom? She's totally fine. She's she's 100% cool. Aren't you, Daisy? Yes! <laughs> okay, Daisy. Well, uh, you have to stay out here, okay? Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to play your computer. Is that okay? Yes. Ooh! <laughs> my sister can only say one word and it's yes. I'm playing her computer and it's so much fun. Ah! Ah, it's not a word, Daisy. Use a word. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> 
Daisy, do you want to go do my laundry? Yes. <laughs> we'll get going. Stop turning off the lights. Okay? Yes. Okay, now go do my laundry. Yes. <laughs> Don't cry about it, Daisy. You're happy, right? Yes, I'm happy. Doesn't sound like it. Try to sound happier. <laughs> Best day ever. Best day ever. Ooh, I'm kind of getting hungry. When Daisy gets done making me, I'm um, doing all my laundry, she can make me a snack. Daisy, would you make me a snack? <coughs> Daisy, you can't hold it in. You want to say something, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Do you want to make me a snack? Yes. <laughs> Have fun making me that snack. Hey, where'd mom go? She's probably taking a nap, which is best because I don't want her to know my little secret. <laughs> I put a curse on Daisy. Mom, I think I'm going to play this game a little longer and then I might go get in the hot tub. I mean, since Daisy's doing everything and has to say yes. <laughs> la, 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 la. Ooh, I don't want to play ping pong. I was going to play piggy. That's right. Gee, this is so much fun! Okay, time to go get in the hot tub. <laughs> what are you trying to say? You trying to say something other than yes? Yes! Oh, you made me a hot dog. Ugh, I'm not really happy with a hot dog. Why don't you make me something else? Yes! <laughs> make me some sort of treat. Here's the plate. <laughs> Daisy, don't cry, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. Yes. Don't you wish sometimes you could make your um sister just say yes to everything? Ah, the brightly colored unicorns on, and I'm totally relaxed. A watermelon slice, not good enough. Make me cookies. And actually, I'll take the watermelon slice too. <sighs> Daisy, stop crying. Seriously, why are you crying? You you're having fun, aren't you, Daisy? Yes. <laughs> That'll teach you for being the most annoying sister in the world! Ah, this is the life. Daisy, get going! No! Woo! I said something other than yes! What? No! How is this happening? The spell blew up! Thank goodness! You know what? If this is a spell that works, try this one on for size. I wish that all Molly could say was yes! What? No! No! Yes! <laughs> it worked, Molly! It worked! Now all well, you can say is yes. Molly, are you gonna go do your homework right now? Uh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Molly has to say yes to everything. You better get going, Molly. There's a lot of homework you'll probably be behind on. Yes! Yes! Good luck with that. Then when you're done with that, you could do my stinky laundry. Right? Yes! <laughs> Hurry up, Molly. After that, you're going to make me some cookies, right? Yes! <laughs> you can't say anything other than yes. Don't even try. No, because someone put this spell on me already. Now get going on the laundry. Oh. Do yours, then mine. Do everybody's laundry in the whole house. Yes! <laughs> now you know how it feels to be a yes person instead of a no person. And I'm probably just going to talk a lot to drive you super nuts the entire time. Ah! Okay, so you want me to drive you crazy, right, Molly? Yes! Okay, here we go. So let me tell you what I found out when I was at the mall the other day. Pink is out, purple is in, and I need a new fashion wardrobe. <laughs> yep, you love me talking about this, don't you? Yes! So I'm going to start off getting new shoes, then I might get some new pants and shorts, and they're going to be purple with a little bit of white and black too because I, I like to have some neutral colors and... You cannot scream, okay? Yes! 
Now put that laundry away and um go pay the bills with your allowance. <laughs> ah, 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 yes! Go do it, Molly. Go do it. Ah. Hurry up, Molly! Why are you being such a slow poke? Yes! Uh oh! You don't have enough money. Oh no! Now you're not gonna have any electricity. Life's gonna be bad. Daisy, I've had enough of this. Wait a minute, the spell will wore off. Yeah, now you know how it feels to be cursed to only say one word. Daisy! That's my favorite word as I'm chasing you and trying to tell you you're the most annoying sister ever! Daisy, did you lock me out? Daisy! Daisy! Oh, I'm starving. Let's see what I can have to eat. <laughs> I don't want to really cook anything. I think I'll just have like... No, no, no. Ooh, a black start. I love these. Molly, what are you doing? Aren't you supposed to be doing your homework? Um, yeah, but I need a snack. Molly, you're always full of excuses. You better actually do your homework. You don't want detention again, do you? Ugh, oh, detention. Yeah, that was pretty awful. <laughs> I had to stare at this blackboard for like an hour. And then I had to write this big long thing that kept saying like, I will do my homework, I will do my homework, I will do my homework. Like a million times. Yeah, it was awful, right? Yeah, it was like prison! <laughs> then go do your homework so you don't get detention. Ugh, oh, I hate doing my homework. I mean, can't we just finish all our work in school? Mom doesn't come home from work with homework. I know, Molly, but we have to do it. It's what the teacher says. Okay, fine. Homework. I hate homework. Ooh, well, I could just play a video game. <laughs> I think playing a video game is the perfect idea. <laughs> Who said that? Who's there? Me! <laughs> Your best friend. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I think I should play a video game. Sounds like a lot of fun to me. <laughs> what game should I play? Ooh, Blacksborn. Yeah, play Blacksborn. Blacksborn looks like lots of fun. Who needs to do homework? Homework, small work. So boring. What are you doing? You should be doing your homework. Who said that? I'm your guardian angel, and, and I really think you should do your homework. She doesn't want to do her homework. She wants to play more games. <laughs> but Molly, if you keep playing games, you're going to get detention. Ooh, detention. Is that a threat? Why don't you just go back to where you came from, little devil? You keep telling Molly to do bad things. Hey, can you two keep it down back there? I'm trying to play my video game. <laughs> Molly, you know your sister Daisy was right when she said you should be playing. You, you shouldn't be playing a game. You, you should be doing your homework. Oh, why don't you buzz off, little angel? <gasps> I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> playing that game was so fun. Who cares about homework anyway? <laughs> Playing games is so much more fun. Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? I'm playing a game. What does it look like? Molly, did you not remember how bad detention is? Who cares about detention? Molly, do your homework. Oh, I don't want to do my homework. Ew, you didn't do your laundry either. Gross. You're going to get in so much trouble, you're going to have detention, and you're going to be grounded for not doing your chores. All right, fine. I'll do my chores. And then your homework, Molly. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I'll do my homework. Good job, Molly. I'll see you later. I've got to go back to doing my own homework. <laughs> Why would you do something so stinky and boring like laundry? Um, uh, because I need to have clean clothes. Who cares? If you smell and someone doesn't like it, tell them to plug their nose. Whoa. <laughs> the little devil side of me is really devilish. <laughs> I guess you're right. I guess I don't need to do my laundry. Molly, you know you should do your, your laundry. You don't want to be smelly. I mean, who wants to sit next to somebody who hasn't done their laundry in three weeks? 
Oh my gosh, you're back! Yeah, I'm your little angel. I'm, I'm supposed to tell you the good things to do. Didn't I tell you already to buzz off? Listen, little devil. You need to stop telling Molly what to do. It's rude. I know. <laughs> rude is my specialty. You guys are driving me crazy. Should I do this laundry or not? Absolutely. That's the right thing to do. No, Molly, don't. Ah! You guys are driving me crazy. Just make up your minds. Ah! Molly, are you okay out there? Ah, yeah. Okay, I gotta do this laundry. I don't want to be stinky. <laughs> she chose me, the good side. This time, but don't get used to it. Huh, maybe I should have listened to the little devil inside of me because literally doing laundry takes so long. Molly, you're doing your laundry. Good job. Jeepers, creepers. I thought maybe you were going to be bad forever. What, me? No, I'm not that bad. I gotta do some chores, and then I have to go to bed because I need to get up early for school so I get a good grade on my test. Test? What test? Molly, you didn't study? Oh, brother. You better go study right now so you can get to bed on time. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure, I'll do that. After I put all this laundry away. Wow, look at this pile of homework. Oh, I really don't want to do it all. Aw. Oh, I guess I better get started, though. Congratulations, Molly! You're doing such a good job! I'm so proud of you! Thanks, Guardian Angel. <laughs> uh, this is a lot of homework, though. But the reward will be great! You'll be so smart and full of knowledge, and, well, you won't get detention. And we both know you don't want that. <laughs> yeah, well, Angel, you're right. I wouldn't want that. <laughs> you really did your homework? Lame. Listen, little devil. It's lame to have detention. It really stinks. Well, since you did all that homework, I think you could stay up late and play some more of your video game. But 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 if I don't go to bed early, I, I won't get a good grade because I'll be exhausted. Who cares? I'm sure you'll be just fine. Besides, you did all that laundry and chores, and then you did your homework. You deserve to play a game. Yeah, I deserve to stay up late and play a game. I don't care if it's a school night. Ha 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 ha. Exactly. <sighs> wow, super tired. What time is it? 2 a.m.? Holy guacamole! Uh, I need to go to bed, like, right now. <laughs> Molly! Molly, wake up! Your alarm clock is going off! You're gonna be late for school! Molly! Molly, wake up! Molly. <laughs> Sleep as long as you want. What are you talking about, little devil? She, she's she's going to miss school. Well, little angel, who cares about school? We care about school. School's important. Well, apparently school's not too important to Molly since she's sleeping through her alarm. All that work you did last night, having her do her chores and homework. <laughs> I messed that all up. Now she's going to have detention forever. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Today I'm playing a mobile game called Good vs. Evil. So now I gotta make some decisions because I'm a cute little angel. Would I rather, oh, somebody's scolding me. Would I rather dance or throw up? Throw up! Bleh! <laughs> oh, guys, I threw up candy. That was awesome. Um, I'm gonna go see the the demon. Oh! <laughs> Level one success. My turn, Molly, my turn. Okay, not now, cheapos. Okay, um, I'm gonna work hard because I'm good and, like, I'm not gonna be a demon. Should I read a book or should I be naughty? Oh, I've got angel wings and a halo. I'm gonna read a book. Oh, he's saying very good job, like, on my teachers. Throw a rock or play with it. Oh, uh, probably wouldn't play with a rock or throw. Oh, throw it, um, 
now I'm gonna play with it because throwing it might hurt somebody. Oh, look! Everybody said you're an amazing angel! So, uh, basically, this is the angel that takes me to heaven or whatever. <laughs> Let me try again! I wanna, I wanna see if I can be better. Okay, oh, look at all this money in this safe! Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is be greedy. <laughs> uh, ah, I punched that kid! Oh my god! That was horrible! <laughs> okay, well, I punched him. Oops. Am I gonna marry or make a divorce? Oh, come on. I believe in love. I'm gonna marry. I'm definitely not... I'm I'm not gonna be a demon. Oh, I asked her to marry me! Marry me! I'm doing a marry me dance. Oh, marry me! Marry me! Wiggle those hips! <laughs> okay, where am I gonna go? What? Oh, I died and I'm going with the demon! Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, the demon wins. Start a new soul. I gotta start a new soul because you're just horrible. Okay, I'm gonna catch the bus. Let me grab my school books. And, um, clean up my room. Oh, mom, I'll definitely clean up my room. Don't yell at me, okay? Don't yell at me! I'm gonna clean up my room. Okay, clean up my room. Um, now, uh, I'm... What, I'm a demon? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna play with the... Oh, no, I went through the wrong door! <laughs> Oopsie! Uh-oh, Molly, I'm a demon, too. <laughs> I always knew that about you, Daisy. I always knew it about you! All right, so next is my turn. Molly, can I try again? No. Okay, am I gonna play her the guitar or break it? I'm gonna break it like a rock star! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! That was so ridiculous. Greet your ex or beat him? Um, I'm definitely gonna um just say hi. I mean, I don't need to be violent, right? Wait, he's with a new girlfriend? Oh, I should have hit him over the head with a frying pan. <laughs> Share your leftovers or dump him. Dump him. Dump him for sure. Dumping all my leftovers and you're dumped too. You're a terrible boyfriend! I'm definitely going to be with the demon this time. You have always the demon, Molly. Going with the demon. My turn, Molly! Okay, am I going to feed my child or save it for my... Oh my gosh, of course I'm going to feed my child. Holy guacamole, that's terrible. Here you go, your little old for a bottle, but that's okay. Am I going to chit-chat with her or make a scene? Make a scene! Uh, Daisy, that means you're going to fight. Really? Uh-oh, I didn't mean that. Uh, Daisy, you're fighting with her right now. Oopsie! <laughs> we could be friends. Oh no, you don't want to be my friend? Okay, whatever. Should I make him happy or he does not deserve it? I'll make him happy. I'll give him the present. He's probably a pretty good boyfriend. Yay! Okay, wait a minute. Oh! Wait, I died and I'm gonna be with an angel. Oh! Good always wins, Molly. No! Evil wins. That's because you keep playing half of the game. That's no fail. Okay, well, let's just do a complete round by ourselves and then you can do a complete round. Sounds good, Molly. You go first. Okay, I'm starting a new soul. Here we go. Should I drink the milk or make a fuss? Make a fuss! Make a fuss! Wee! Wee! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. Throwing up. Okay, should I share the candy or throw it? Throw it! Molly, you already know you're gonna be a demon, right? No, I'm not that bad. Here, have this candy. Blah! Oh boy, Molly, you really are evil. Come on, demon! Let's go have some fun! Your sword is going nowhere good, Molly. Okay, next, should I read the book or be naughty? I actually like, like reading, so I'm gonna pick read a book. Oh, look! We, we, I read a book, I got a good grade. Should I throw the rock? Yes, definitely, I'm gonna throw the rock. Molly, don't do it! Oh boy! Oh, Molly! Holy guacamole! Should I work hard or cheat? Um, I don't really want to do either of those. But I'm going to pick cheat. Molly! It's just a game, Daisy. Relax. Let me see what you got on your grade there. Let me see what you got. Maybe she didn't get a good grade either, Molly. And then you cheated off somebody who failed. Yeah, good point. That's always a risk you take if you cheat off people. Let's see what your soul did. Okay, should I marry them or make a divorce? Make a divorce! We're never going to be together! Here's your ring. I don't want it. I want to be greedy with the money, too. 
Molly, you're just trying to... Oh, she pushed you through money at that. Okay, I'm going to be respectful. I would not punch. Oh, I went through the wrong door. Oopsie. Oh, I didn't mean to punch you. Seriously. Yeah, sure you didn't, Molly. You're definitely going with the demon. Okay, I pulled. A, I played a full level by myself. And dun da 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 Definitely a demon. Okay, guys. Do you think I'm going to be a demon or an angel? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to start a new song now. I'm going to clean up my room, obviously, duh. Okay, here's the thing. When I get a new toy, like, I don't want to shale, so I'm sorry, but I have to pick don't shale. <laughs> oh, my gosh! Ah! Daisy, that was evil. I'm going to catch the bus, of course. I'd never ditch school. Ah, I'm going to keep running into that. Oh, no! Look, I had, like, a little demon above my head. What's that mean? It means you're a demon, Daisy. <gasps> oh, my God! I got to try hard on the next round or I'm going to be a demon and my soul will be lost forever. I think it's fun to be a demon. <laughs> okay, what would an angel do? Share her leftovers. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Here you go. Creep my ex or beat him. Um, uh, I guess I'll creep my ex. Uh... And I'll be glad that you actually get to hang out with him because he's a loser. Okay, play with her or break it. Oh, play to her. Okay, I'll play to her. <laughs> la, 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 la. I'm the rock star. Now pick me. I'm an angel, right? Oh, thank goodness. Daisy, it's going to be a hard one to tell if you're an angel or a demon. That's because I learned how to be a demon from you. Okay, I'll give him the present and make him happy. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm split right down the middle between angel and demon. Of course, I'd feed my child. I already got this question. And also, we're going to start potty training. You're seven years old. Okay, chit-chat with her. Yes, definitely. Hi, I'm Daisy, just like the flower. How are you today? Okay, I'm an angel because I talked to you. Daisy, I think you're going to be a demon. Demon, 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 demon. No, Molly, I'm an angel. What? No, it says you're a demon. <laughs> what? This game is so messed up. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, if you guys like these mobile games, let us know in the comment section below the next one you want us to play. Yeah, and by the way, I'm an angel, not a demon. Sure you are, Daisy. Sure you are. Our friends tomorrow at school it's gonna be awesome daisy i told molly i i'm so excited about it mom we're home mom we're home oh dad you're home from work early yup girls i took the afternoon off sometimes you just need some downtime tell me about it wish i could have a day off from school once in a while oh girls you have half days all the time teachers in service and holidays yeah well it never feels like it's enough. Oh, Molly. I think you should try to be more excited about school. I'm excited. Wee, wee, wee. Don't mind Molly. She had an ice cream at lunch. And the sugar's making her crazy. Whatever, Daisy. You had an ice cream, too. Yeah, Molly. But I also had a salad. They count to balance. That's called balance. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, Daisy. Whatever. You had two scoops of ice cream. I did not, Molly. I had one and a half. Uh-huh. You had three, Molly. Oh, my gosh. It was so delicious today. It was so good. Mom, guess what? Dad, guess what? What? What is it, Daisy? I got an egg on my spelling test. Hooray! That's great, Daisy. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you, too, Daisy. Molly, what did you get on your test? Uh, test? Uh, what test? Molly. Um, I, I did okay. Yep, I, I did all right. Molly, are you telling the truth right now? Yeah, I'm telling the truth. Um, uh, Mom, can I have a snack? I've got to go. You've got to go where? I have to play with my friends at the park. First, I want to talk to you about the spelling test, Molly. She doesn't want to tell you, but she got a bad grade. D 
Daisy! What? Why did you tattletale on me? Molly, it's the truth. It's not tattletaling if it's the truth. Yes, it is. That's none of your business what I got on my spelling test. Well, Molly, when it comes to telling Mom and Dad the truth, that's what I'm going to do always. Is this true, Molly? Did you fail your spelling test? Um, well, um, uh, Molly, did you fail or not? Uh, well, I didn't know I had a test. It's not my fault. I, I didn't know I had to study. Molly, don't you remember last night before school? No, what happened? I remember it quite well. Oh my gosh, I love this game. Look at us, we're all flying in an airplane to vacation. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm having so much fun. Molly, Molly. Uh, I can't talk right now, Mom. I'm playing Blacksborn. Molly, it's almost time for bed. Have you done your homework? Um, uh, well, uh... Molly, you have a spelling test tomorrow. Your teacher sent home a paper about it. I need you to study for that, please. And then you have to get ready for bed. Okay, Mom, I will. I promise. Okay, Molly, well, I'm trusting you to do the right thing. You want to get a good grade on your test, right? Yeah, Mom, absolutely. Um, I'll start on it in just one minute. Okay, Molly. I hope you do. Whoa, this game is so fun. <laughs> Wee! Oh, no, I died. Oh, man. That's okay. I can always play again. And again, and again, and again, and again. <laughs> ah, this is so cool. So, don't you remember me saying that to you last night, Molly? Uh, well, sort of. Molly, you promised me that you would do your spelling um, studying, and you didn't. Well, I, I was playing Bloxborn. I, oh. Molly, I'm sorry, but I have no choice but to ground you. Ground me? What? No! Dad, don't let her do this. It's not fair. Sorry, Molly, but I agree with your mom. You're grounded. No! We're staying off of! <laughs> oh, Molly, I'm very sorry, but... You you just you have to you have to do what you say you're going to. You have to get good grades. Can I have some um can I have something delicious? No, you can have something healthy. You're grounded. Oh How about a yogurt? Can I have that? At least can I have that? Or do I have to starve? Of course you don't have to starve, Molly. You can have a yogurt. You can only have healthy things, no treats. You're grounded. Oh, Mom, can I go swimming in the pool? That sounds like a great idea! Yeah, I'll go, I'll go! Of course you can, Daisy, but I'm sorry, Molly. You're grounded. Oh, this is terrible! I'm just gonna watch you, Daisy. You can watch, but you're not allowed to go swimming, Molly. I hope next time you've learned your lesson and you study for your spelling test. What if I studied and I still got a bad grade? Well, then your mom and I would work with you so you didn't get another bad grade. And that wouldn't be your fault, because you actually tried. But did you try this time, Molly? No, I didn't try. And did you promise Mom that you would? Yeah, I promised. And do we lie in our family? No, we don't lie. Then now you know why you're grounded. Oh, this is terrible! Ah, this is the life. Just relaxing in the pool, having a great day after school. Could I at least get on the slide, Dad? No, Molly, you're grounded. Oh, Daisy, you get to have all the fun. Actually, Molly, I didn't have any fun last night because I was too busy studying for the spelling test. So this is a well-deserved break. Ooh, we're going to get on the slide. Whee! Oh, my gosh, is she okay? I have to go in and help her. I have to go in. Molly, get out of the pool. You're grounded. <laughs> that was so fun. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Molly, now you're grounded two days instead of one. Oh, worst day ever. <laughs> well, maybe I'll just play with my cat. They don't want to tell me I can't play with my cat, do they? Mr. Meows a lot. I'm grounded. It's terrible. Molly, no playing with toys. You're grounded. But it's Mr. Meows a lot. No, Mr. Meows a lot until you're ungrounded. Well, what am I supposed to do? You can study. Study? Ugh, yuck. 
Stay out of trouble, Molly. Okay, I won't get into any trouble. The burly colored unicorn, the burly colored unicorn. The burly colored unicorn, the burly colored unicorn. I love this TV show. Molly, I've got to wa- Hey! Molly, you're not supposed to be watching this. You're grounded. Besides, I want to watch the news. The news? That's so boring! Why can't I watch the brightly colored unicorn? Because, Molly, you're grounded. Oh, can I at least watch the news? Well, Molly, you must be desperate if you want to watch the news. But no, no TV. Oh. Mom, can I have some ice cream? I'm having a terrible day. Molly, no, you can't have ice cream. Besides, it's almost time for dinner. Am I allowed to have dinner? Don't be silly, Molly. Of course you are. Mom, I'm really sorry that I didn't study and I promised you that I would. That's okay, Molly. I just hope that you've learned your lesson. School is really important. It is? Well, I don't think so. Except for recess and lunch. Those are pretty important. Molly, school sets you up for success when you're a grown-up. You have to learn these things. You're going to use them every single day. Why? Um, my computer just spells for me. Okay, yeah, but you still need to know how to do it, Molly. It's called being smart. Now, come on. It's time for dinner. Ah! Woo, this book is so good. I love it. Can I at least read a book? Um, that is one thing you could do, Molly. Really? I can read? Yeah, Molly, but you always don't want to. That's not true. I love to read. That is true. Molly does like to read. And yes, that is something you can do to pass the time while you're grounded, Molly. Now, why doesn't everybody say one thing that they're thankful for today? Well, I don't have anything to be thankful for because I got grounded. Oh, Molly, there's always something to be thankful for. Why don't you try? Um, uh, skip me, please. Come back to me. Um, I'm thankful that today at work, I won an award. You did, dear? That sounds wonderful. Yeah, I was the best pizza eater of all of lunch. <laughs> uh, that's the award you won, Mom? Best pizza eater at lunch? <laughs> Man, you sound just like me. Yeah, Molly, you'd be surprised. You're just like me in a lot of ways. Whoa, Mom, I didn't know you could eat that much pizza. That's awesome. Okay, Daisy, why don't you go next? I'm not being thankful because I got a good grade on my test. That's a great one. Okay, Molly, you're next. Um, uh, I'm really struggling here. I don't know. I mean, I'm grounded. What's there to be thankful for? You could be thankful for the lesson that you learned to not lie to mom. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. So grateful for that. Okay, Molly. I guess you get out of this one free this time. But next time you have to think of something you're thankful for. I know something I'm thankful for. What is it, Molly? I'm thankful that I can read books because I might go crazy during this grounding if I couldn't. That's a great one, Molly. Let's see. What am I grateful for? I'm grateful for this delicious smelling cheeseburger I'm about to eat. <laughs> that does sound good, Dad. Okay, everybody, dig in. Um, Dad, you ate all of the hamburgers. I did? Oops, I was really hungry. Oh, man! Excuse me, I have to use the restroom. Do, 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 ba, 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 do, do. Well, today I learned my lesson. Never promise your mom that you'll study and then not do it. You will get grounded and you'll make your mom really sad. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this awesome episode of Happy Roblox Family, guys. Let us know what you thought of it in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel where we put out awesome videos just like this one every day. Molly, I can't wait till you're done being grounded so we can play hide and seek. Yeah, me too, Daisy. Me too. Place. This beach resort is amazing. I couldn't agree more, Molly. Wow, this is gonna be the best vacation ever. Well, it's it's a little crowded, don't you think? Never. Everybody's coming.
coming here because it's so cool, Dad. Everybody wants to have a vacation here. Yeah, Dad, duh. I mean, this is the place to be in Roblox. Hey, w where's Mom? Your mother didn't think this was the place to be. She decided she wanted a vacation by herself. Apparently, being a mom all the time is kind of hard work. Are you serious? She went on a vacation without us? <laughs> Just kidding. She's putting the baby down for a nap in the hotel. <laughs> She'll be out later. Oh, I thought you were serious. Hey, guys, let's go check it out and, and see the beach and stuff. This place looks so cool. Molly, did you just stop and check for cars? Yeah, there's cars at the beach. Duh, you don't want to get run over. Like, oh, hey, I'm on my beach vacation. I've been here for five seconds, and I got run over by a Jeep. That wouldn't be a very good vacation. Okay. She does have a point there, people. This is the nicest sand I've ever been on, seriously. Ooh, is that a boat out there? Oh my god, someone's drowning! All right, um, I'm not a lifeguard, but I'm a really good swimmer, so maybe I can help out. Just, are you okay? No, I'm drowning! I'm drowning too! Okay, well, let me just help you out. I'm rescuing you. Still rescuing you, still rescuing you. Okay, I think I rescued you. Yes, that makes me so happy. Okay, guys, let's go and explore under the water. This is snorkeling. Molly, you need snorkel kill. Oh, my sister is so annoying sometimes. Ow. What is that? Ooh. Oh, wait, I have to come up for air. Oh, my God, I'm drowning. Um, Can I rescue myself? Um, Guys, I'm having a out-of-body experience. I'm seeing my life flash before me. Hello? Dad! You, you, Dad! Okay, I'm floating on top of the water. That's probably not good. Okay, maybe I can just get some air while I'm up here. Molly! Molly, I'm coming! M Molly, are you drowning? No, I'm already dead! You took so long to get here! Just kidding. Uh, that was horrible. Okay, now I'm sinking to the bottom. Dad, uh, do you know how to rescue me? Because if not, I'm about to die! Please, let's not start the beach vacation this way. Okay, Molly, just hold on. Hold on, okay, I got you above the water. You're okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, I'm just, I'm rescuing you now. Molly, that was terrifying to have to rescue you. You do know that when you're swimming underwater, you have to come up for air, right? Um, well, I haven't gone swimming in so long because we live where the snow never ends. She has a point, Dad. We do have very long winnows. She probably forgot how to swim. Yeah, you make me go to school every day. It's not like I have time to practice anything except for homework and detention. Oh, Molly. Oh, I'm just saying, if you go back in the water, make sure you can actually swim and come up for air. Yeah, Molly, you definitely need to know how to swim if you're going to go into water. Okay, well, I'm going to try that again without the drowning this time. Daisy, you want to come with me? Sure, Molly. I actually am a very good swimmer. Of course you are, Daisy. You're good at everything. Everybody knows that. Oh, wow. The water is crystal clear today. I want to swim out to Flat Rock. That looks amazing. And guys, look, I think the water is just going to keep getting deeper and deeper as we get farther out. That's what happens, Molly. The water just gets deeper and deeper. And you're going to drown cause, because you're too far out and you can't swim. You literally cannot swim. I can swim. I can swim. See, I'm swimming. I'm swimming. Oh, boy. I think maybe she needs to ride a boat. Whoa, there's an ambulance. Yeah, for all the other people who can't swim. Right, I'm going to go get on this boat, guys. I don't know if they'll care or not, but I'm definitely going to get on it. Hey, wait, come back here. I need to go for a ride. Why can I not get out of the water? Ow! <laughs> Drowning on the side of the water. That was crazy. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I'm with the lifeguards. Cool. All right. Can we go out to like see some things like dolph dolphins or something? Because I'm on my first vacation of the summer and I want to see all of it. I don't know where my sister went. She's somewhere out there in the water, but it doesn't matter. She's fine. Girls, stick together. Uh-oh, my dad said stick together, and I don't know where my sister is. This vacation is kind of crazy. Get in the back. Whoa, the lifeguards are cray-cray around here. Oh, man, she looks like she's having a horrible vacation. What happened? Did you, Are you having a bad vacation? Is everything okay? Don't even talk to me right now. I'm having the worst day of my life. Oh, man. Daisy, oh, there you are. Hey, Daisy. Hey, Molly. Oh, so you didn't tell me that you weren't going out to Flat Rock. I swam all the way out there. Oh, sorry, but I want to go on the boat. But this boat just never seems to move. Oh, wait, there we go. It's moving. Sunset cruise. Oh, Daisy, you're going to fall off. Be careful. I'm trying not to fall off, but there's not really a seat for me. This vacation is crazy. Yeah, it's because there's so many people on it. Do you guys see any dolphins? There are a lot of people on this island, Molly. I don't see any dolphins. 
Maybe we'll see a shark, Molly. Jump over the edge and let's find out. Are you serious? Uh, if this is shark infested waters, that's probably a bad idea. Nonsense, Molly. You're an expert swimmer. <laughs> Not. Oh, whoa, whoa, look at, we're out on this little island and we crash on it. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. I love going out on this island though. I don't know, this vacation so far has had good moments and bad. Time to go look at some fishies. Uh, Molly, you just gotta be careful. Remember, you need oxygen. I know, I know. Wow, I don't see a single fish. That usually means there's a shark nearby. Wait, what? Yeah, it scared off all the fishies. That's the way it goes. Holy moly! Um, that sounds terrifying. Molly, it's not a good idea to be swimming after dark. The sharks will be very active then. Okay, going back on the island. Um, how do I get up there? Ah, I can't get out of the water! Daisy, can you give me a hand? Uh, no, Molly. What are you doing, Molly? Get up here! I can't. I just keep going down, down, down. Okay, there we go. Oh, finally got back up onto the island. Uh, Molly, let's get on their boat before they leave us here. And then we'd be stuck. And that would be crazy. Yeah, there's no coconut trees to eat coconuts or anything. Okay, they're saying we are going. Well, wait for us, okay? Don't leave without us. Jeepers. That one lifeguard looks like he was on Castaway. Look at him. He looks like he's been on a deserted island for a really long time. He's got like a crazy beard going on. Yeah, and he kind of smells too. Don't think he's taking a bath in a while. He was probably abandoned on that island. <laughs> oh, man. That's some crazy stuff right there. Molly, where are we going? I think we're going back to the shore. Yeah, we definitely are. The next day. Ah, this is the life. Oh, honey, I'm so glad we got to do some relaxing. And we found that amazing um, kids daycare at the beach. Ugh, I bet baby Kira's going to love it. Yeah, she gets to hang out and with kids her own age and stuff. Well, you guys get to relax. Yeah, it's going to be great. Seriously, I needed this vacation. Hey, Molly, I found a golf cart. You want to go with me on it and go for a ride? Yeah, can we, Mom? Can we? Oh, I don't know, girls. Come on, honey. We could use a little bit of just us time. We'll let the girls go have fun. Besides, Daisy's driving, right? Um, of course. I'm the responsible one. Blah, blah, blah. Responsible, responsible. Okay, where's the golf cart? It was just my right heel! Oh my god, someone stole it! Okay, this beach vacation has turned into something totally crazy. <sighs> um, all right, maybe we could take this. Molly, that's not ours. Hey, hey get, get out of here. We're going for a ride. No, no, I claimed it first. <laughs> oh my God, we're all fighting over it. I can't even get in the seat. It like won't let me. Come on, Molly. We'll go see if we can find a different one. Okay, let's go see if we can find um a different... Ooh, look at this. We can go on a jet ski. Want to? Molly, that's for the lifeguard. Are you crazy? <laughs> I was just thinking it would be fun. What? Where did you get that rainbow? Ah, uh, well, I just got it for vacation. I want a rainbow. It looked like a sparkly unicorn and I didn't get one. Don't be such a grumpy Gus. You're on vacation, Molly. Ah, <sighs> well, I guess we're not going for a ride in the, um, in the golf cart or anything. Nah, I'll find another one, Molly. Daisy, I found an abandoned golf cart. Okay, I don't know where Daisy went, but I've got a golf cart. Wait, does it run? Okay, there we go. I thought maybe it was broken. That's why someone left it here. Oh, my God. This is fun. Whee! <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. Should I try going up those stairs? Whoa, it's a little bumpy. I don't know where Daisy went. She went to look for a golf cart, but I'm the only one that found one. Oh, my God, guys. Look at that. There is actually a water slide at this place. I didn't even know that. Okay, and now I have to go down the water slide. That looks amazing. Hope nobody steals my golf cart while I'm up there. What? You have to go all the way up here on the cliffs, and then you can go down it? Oh, um, gee, you can see the entire island. There you are, Molly. Daisy, look. Oh, my God, this is going to be so much fun. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that was seriously fun. <laughs> oh, man, I've got the hiccups. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. She's got the hiccups. Did you eat a hot dog for breakfast? What? No, ew. Hot dogs always give you hiccups. Yeah, sometimes when I eat um sushi, it does too. I don't know why. Okay, Daisy, let's... Oh, you ran into the golf cart. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Was that Molly I just saw fly by? I thought Daisy was doing the driving. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on with the parents? Ah! Okay, um, I just got thrown... Completely. 
Okay, uh, that was crazy town. I don't know how that happened. I got in an accident. It threw me all the way over here. Did you guys just hear that? Sort of sounded like a shark. And I'm really, really far from the shore. Oh my God, guys. I gotta swim really fast. Really, really fast. Holy macaroni. It's one of those fish with those weird light things on the front of its head. Do you guys see that? Uh, I don't think they're very friendly. I'm gonna swim away. And hopefully I don't run into that shark either. Ah! No, there's a shark. Oh my God, guys. I'm in so much trouble right now. That shark looks hungry. He doesn't see me. Oh no, he definitely sees me. Ah! Hi, I met a shark on my vacation. Ah! Okay, don't follow me, please. Please, wait, is he sinking? Is that shark in trouble? Well, at least I'm not in trouble because I don't want to get eaten by a shark. Ah! I don't know if this is the craziest vacation, worst vacation, or coolest vacation. All I know is, is that I'm almost back to shore. Wait, is that whales over there? Oh no, wait, guys! They're not whales at all! They're, they're, they're dolphins! O-M-G! Um, can you guys give me a ride back? Uh, I don't know, I think those are orcas. No, the, those are orcas! I should have paid attention in, 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 in to science class because I don't know what that is. Guys, can you tell me? I think that looks like an orca. At first I was like, no, it's a whale. Then I was like, nope, it's a dolphin. But now that I look at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm up close. It's definitely an orca. What's down here? More whales, guys. But none of them want to seem to eat me. So that's probably a good thing. But I'm going to go back and find my family because right now I am just really hungry for lunch. And I was thinking about maybe I'd have some fish sticks. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you when I get back from my vacation. Bye! <sighs> Maybe kicking the soccer ball around will make me feel better. I don't know. I just, I'm gonna be so weird at school tomorrow. Everyone's gonna tease me, I just know it. Oh no, there's Sarah. Hurry, sit down before she notices. Oh, look who it is. What? Why are you sitting in the road, Molly? Duh, that's dumb. You're gonna get hit by a car. Um, okay, I I'm just gonna move over here. Uh, Why don't you stand up? Are your legs broken or something? Um, no, I'm just, um, uh, my feet fell asleep. Yeah, and uh, I, I can't stand up. Why are you acting so weird? Um, I I'm not. I'm just sitting in my yard. Why are you bothering me anyway, Sarah? Oh, that's all you do is bother me. Oh, you're not very nice, are you? Oh, look, your soccer ball's running away. <laughs> it's gonna get hit by that bus. What? I spent my allowance on that What? Oh, no! What? Why are you so tall? Do you have, like, bricks in your shoes or something? What? No, I'm not that tall. <laughs> you totally had a growth spur, and now you're taller than everyone else at the school. So what? So? It doesn't matter if I'm taller. <laughs> you look like a total snork. What? What's a snork? <laughs> Google it, loser. Bye. It'll be fun teasing you tomorrow, you tall freak. What? Oh, I just knew that Sarah was going to tease me about being taller than everyone else. <laughs> She's so mean. <laughs> hey, Molly, did you know that whales... I don't care about whales, but it's an amazing fun fact about whales. I just have to tell you, I'm so excited. Daisy, does my face look like I care about whales right now? You should care about whales. They're amazing creatures that live on our planet. Daisy, just leave me alone, okay? Whoa, something made her awfully grumpy. My life is over! Sarah's gonna tell everybody I'm a snork! <laughs> hey, Molly! Oh, whoa, are you okay? No, I'm not okay! Oh, but well, Mom wants us to do chores, and it's your turn to vacuum, so you better get on it. I'm not vacuuming today. I'm having a horrible day! Well, I'm not vacuuming again, Molly. I always do your chores for you, so it's your turn. You need to vacuum. And also, can I tell you about that amazing fact about whales now? No, no, and no! You are the most annoying sister ever. Well, that's kind of rude. Here's the vacuum anyway, so you can start vacuuming. Molly, you missed a spot. You missed a spot. 
Daisy, stop telling me I missed a spot. I'm not even done vacuuming yet. Well, usually you miss a lot of spots and then one of us has to clean up after you. Well, I'm sorry I'm not the perfect vacuumer. Ah, uh, my dear mother, you missed that spot you already went over. Well, maybe this vacuum is just broken. I mean, if I already went over it and didn't suck up the dirt, then it's the vacuum's fault. Buddy, what has gotten into you today? You're super grumpy. I don't know, maybe it's just because I want to be left alone. Something made you grumpy, Maddy. Wait a minute. Holy guacamole. I can't believe I never noticed this before. What? You had a growth spurt. Don't I know it. Well, I mean, you will be the tallest girl in school. And, um, Daisy, stop talking about how tall I am. But you are, you're tall. Did you know that whales are tall? Daisy, I don't care about whales. You are such a snork. A, a what? What did you just say? A snork. You are a snork, a snork, a snork. <gasps> Wait, what's a snork? It's a... It Google it! It means you're a snork! I, I can't believe you called me a bad word! Mom! Whoa! One of you is crying, one of you looks mad. This can't be good. What is going on here? Molly said a bad word! What? Molly, is this true? I don't know. It depends on what you consider a bad word. I mean, is. is. B a bad word? Oh my gosh, Molly, yes, that's a bad word. Don't ever say that again. Um, is a bad word? Yes! Molly, are these the words you called your sister? No! Mom, she called me the worst word ever. I can't believe she even said it. Okay, well, do you want to tell me what it was? I, I can't say that now, Mom. I can't even say it. Okay, well, stop crying and come whisper it to me. Then I'll be able to tell what Molly, Molly's punishment should be. Punishment? This whole day has been a punishment to me. Molly, you, you should really be nice to Mom, she called me a snork. A what? A dork? No, was a snork. <gasps> Molly, you did not call your sister a snork. Wait, what's a snork? Is this some new swear word that I don't know about? Yeah, Google it. I don't have to Google it. If you said it with mean intent to your sister, then it wasn't a nice thing to say. I could even say, Daisy, you're so Daisy. And see, that sounds mean, even though I just said her name was Daisy, basically. Whoa, why is everybody being so mean to me? Oh, no, no, Daisy, I didn't mean it. Okay, Molly, go sit in the timeout chair. What? I'm not four years old. I'm not sitting in the timeout chair. Molly, if you talk to me that way, you're also going to be grounded for a week. Go stand in the corner. Fine. I don't know why Sarah gets to call me a snork. That wasn't even annoying. But when Daisy is annoying and I call her a snork, then I get into trouble. <sighs> Whatever. Standing in the corner is boring. <laughs> Good thing I have my phone in my pocket. Na, 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 na. Ooh, look at this TikTok video. <laughs> oh, man, that is hilarious. Molly, you are in a punishment. You can't have your phone handed over. What? But this is my phone. Not anymore. You're grounded. Oh, man. Molly, turn around. Stand in the corner. Fine. How long do I have to stand here for? Until you decide to not be mean to your sister anymore. Oh, great. I'm going to be standing in the corner for the rest of my life. Hmm. I'm kind of hungry. Good thing I had this bean burrito in my pocket. Mm. That was delicious. It makes time out bearable. Whoa! <laughs> Those beans work fast! Ew! What's that smell? Wait a minute. If it smells like that, it means Molly has eaten a bean burrito. Molly, are you eating a bean burrito? Um, no. Molly, I see you eating the bean burrito. Oh, um, uh, yes? You can't eat a bean burrito in time out. What? I'm not allowed to eat? I'm hungry! No, you can eat. You can't eat anything super delicious. You can only have an apple. This is a punishment. But, Mom, I'm just going to hurry up and eat this bean burrito. Then you can't take it from me. Molly, give me that bean burrito. Mom, you took my bean burrito? Ah! If you're hungry, Molly, you can have an apple. No, I'm not even that hungry anymore. The 
This time out is terrible! Hmm, I've never heard of snork before. I'm just gonna have to Google this. I mean, how can I not know a word? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Nothing actually comes up when I type in snork. Molly made up her own swear word? Oh, uh, I'm not sure I can ground her. I mean, it's not actually a bad word. Oh, what do I do as a parent here? I mean, it's not actually a bad word, but she said it kind of mean. Oh, why is my kid so hard to be a parent to? I did the crime, so now I have to do the time. I can't be in timeout anymore. I'm going crazy. Well, Molly, good news is, is I can't actually ground you. Say what? Am I hearing things? I'm not grounded? Seriously? No, turns out snork isn't really a swear word, so uh, you get out of jail free this time. Hot diggity dog! <laughs> I don't have to be punished. Molly, where did you even hear the word snork? Uh, well, Sarah called it to me today, and um, I don't know, it just seemed like something to say when someone really annoys you. Molly, I will not ground you under one condition. You cannot say mean words to your sister, even if you made up the mean word. Well, um, I can promise you for today I won't. Tomorrow's another story. Oh, Molly. Uh, why don't you go outside and play? Your mother needs some, you know, downtime. Sure thing, Mom. Thanks for not grounding me. Hey, can I have my bean burrito? Sorry, Molly. I ate it. Oh, figures. What a terrible day. Well, at least I'm not grounded. Woohoo! Sparkles, what are we going to do today? There's so many fun things we could do. You want to play with Mr. Kinnikinums? <laughs> Isn't he adorable? I love this stuffed animal so much. I've had it since I was a little tiny girl. Oh, and even though I keep growing older and older, I mean, well, I'm not like 80 or anything, but <laughs> even though I keep growing up, I should say, I still love my stuffed animals. Molly, did you know that this math problem in her homework is super hard? Daisy, why are you in my room right now? Uh, because I was asking you about this math problem. No, Daisy, just no. But Molly, how am I ever going to be ready for high school? Um, because the teacher will teach you and then you'll leave junior high and you'll go to high school. I know, but I want to be extra prepared. Daisy, get out of my room! Fine, Molly, cease. Sorry about that interruption, Sparkles. Now we can play a game. Which one should we play? Ping pong. Ooh, Blacksborn. This looks fun. Do, 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 do. Sparkles, you're a unicorn. Do, 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 do. And I love you so much. Do, do, do. You're my best friend. Wow, Molly, you sing really loud and it's kind of bad. Daisy, why are you back in my room and insulting how I sing? Rude. Because I'm your sister, it's my job. See, that singing was much better. Hmm, this painting looks a little weird too. Hey, I painted that of sparkles. Stop it, stop it, you're gonna ruin it. I'm not gonna ruin it, I'm gonna make it look not ugly. It's not ugly, Daisy, take it back. Nope, not taking it back. Fine, Daisy, whatever. I'll just do the painting again. Leave me alone. I'm trying to hang out with my unicorn, duh. Whee! Sparkles, I hope you like to swim. <laughs> Look at, she's got a smile on her face. She loves it. Oh my gosh, she's diving underwater. Oh, now she's floating on her back. Ooh, the pool. I love to go in the pool. Ah, My name is Daisy, just like the flower. Is my sister for real right now? All she's doing today is driving me absolutely insane. Oh, do you have a sister or a brother that drives you insane? O-M-G. I know what I'm going to do, though. This will definitely get rid of her. I'm just going to ignore her. I'm going to ignore her for like 24 hours. She'll get so upset that I'm ignoring her. She'll finally leave me alone. What are you saying, Molly? Can I know? Molly! Molly! Someone talking to me? I don't I don't really hear anything. Sounds like a ghost. My 
Charlie, I'm not a ghost. I'm your sister. Uh, nope, didn't hear anything. Molly, you're being so weird right now. What are you doing? Come on, Sparkles. Do -do 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 Ooh, this looks like the perfect spot just to relax and watch the stars. I was standing on the table, though. <laughs> I just sit down because I was literally standing on the table. What has gotten into my sister? Hey, Molly, I'm over here. Okay, I'm totally ignoring her. Well, it's, this, this is going to drive her crazy. Molly! Okay, we'll play hide and seek, Molly. Come on, we can play hide and seek. Uh, no, still going to ignore her. I was going to respond, but no, I'm not going to. Molly, obviously you could heal me. You're not 80 years old and deaf. Why are you saying anything? Huh, sounds like someone's talking, but I don't see anybody. Molly, I am not a ghost. Stop pretending I'm not here. Molly, say something. Oh my gosh. My sister is just ignoring me. <gasps> is she doing the ignore me for 24 hours challenge? Nah, she wouldn't do that. Ooh, I'm starving. I could have a snack right now. What should I make? Cookies! That sounds delicious. There's really never a bad time to eat a cookie. Seriously. There's... I, can, I like... I can't even think of one single time ever that it's bad to eat a cookie. You're hungry? And when you get home from school? Cookie sounds good. You wake up? You don't have your favorite cereal? Eat a cookie. Uh, you get a good grade in school? Eat a cookie. Oh, man, I failed that test. Eat a cookie. You wake up in the middle of the night, and you stumble out into the kitchen, and you're starving. Eat a cookie. See, there's never a time when you don't eat a cookie. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, my sister's in my room right now, but I'm trying to ignore her, because if I say anything, then she wins, and she will not win. Okay, time to bake these delicious cookies, which you can't have any of. Sparkles, you want a chocolate chip cookie? Of course you do. All unicorns love chocolate chip cookies. And eating homework, because they're naughty like that. Woo, is somebody making cookies that smell delicious? I think I'll eat them all. Molly, I said I was going to eat all your cookies. Whatever, Molly. I know you're going to be mad if I eat all your cookies. And you can't ignore me, Ted. Oh, are the cookies done yet? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe she's ignoring me. This is terrible. <laughs> my plan is working perfectly. Now she'll know and realize just how annoying she is. Come on, Sparkles. She's gone. You can totally eat some cookies. Mmm, these look delicious. Mmm. Ooh, cookies! Uh, how am I gonna ignore her? She just took my cookies! I wanna scream right now, but I can't because then she'll know! Did you say something, Molly? Ooh, I can't wait to read your diary! Ah! What, Molly? Did you just scream a little bit? Mmm! 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 Just go in the living room. Not gonna say anything. Turn on brightly colored unicorn. I at least got to eat one cookie. I'm not giving in. I am ignoring my sister for 24 hours. It's gonna be difficult though. She's really annoying and I just wanna tell her, stop being annoying! The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Literally, I cannot stand living with you as a sister. But at least there's one cookie left that she didn't get, so... <laughs> Even though I didn't win at ignoring her, still get to eat this cookie. Don't eat the last cookie, Molly! Oh, yeah, totally gonna. Hey, get that scooter out of my room! No way, Jose! Do, 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 do! O-M-G! My sister is the most annoying human 
the entire world. And by the way, do your stinky laundry, Molly. It smells awful. Fine, I'll do my laundry. But only because Mom said if I did my laundry all week, she'd take me to Chuck E. Cheese. Molly, Chuck E. Cheese is for babies. Yeah, but it's also for awesome people like me. I love Chuck E. Cheese. They have the best pizza in the world. And they have that little, all those little, like, games you can play, like, skee ball and stuff. Ooh, yeah, that is fun. Even if you're a grown-up, that's fun. Yeah, I have to admit. This is super fun. Huh. See, Molly, you're talking to me again. Don't you feel happy? No, I don't feel happy about it at all. Then how come up here it says you're happy? You can't lie if you're happy in Roblox. Oh, man, she knows it. Guess I'm not as annoying as you say I am. Actually, Molly, I think if I just disappeared one day and you didn't have a sister, you would be so sad. No, not true. Yes, it is, Molly. It's true, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. Oh, brother, don't tell me you're ignoring me again. Molly, stop it! Oh, my goodness. Okay, Molly, I, I'm just going to leave my scooter in your room forever. Molly, going to leave it in here forever. Somebody talking? I didn't hear anything, Sparkles, did you? Molly, seriously, I already won. Fine, you won, but I'm just saying, get that scooter out of my room and stop annoying me. I'm locking the door. You can't lock it, Molly. There's no locks on the doors here. Oh, my gosh. Sparkles, what are we going to do? Can we go live in Unicorn Land with all the other unicorns without Daisy? No, Molly. I'd go to Unicorn Land, too. Oh. so early. Why? Molly, oh, today's a brand new day. I can't wait to go to school. Seriously, Daisy, you can't wait to go to school? You are crazy. Insane. Totally psycho. Whatever, Molly. Just because you never do all of your schoolwork doesn't mean that all of us are bad students. I'm not a bad student. Okay, yeah, I can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> I sort of am. But I'm smart, and I like to read and stuff. Yeah, you just don't like homework or tests or any of the work part of school. Um, yeah, duh. Mm, I do like the work of eating the pizza at school, though. Molly, school lunch is not the important subject. It is in my eyes. <laughs> did I forget to do my schoolwork? Oh, man, I hope I did it all. I hope I did it all. I'm really trying to turn over a new leaf. Okay, math homework check. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait, I did that. Yes! I actually wrote my school paper for a minute. I thought I forgot to, but nope, totally didn't. I'm going to go have some breakfast. <laughs> Uh, Dad, why is your head stuck in the oven right now? <laughs> That's a funny one, Molly. <laughs> um, well, your dad is fixing the oven. Hold on, I almost got it. Oh, man. Does that mean we can't have any pancakes today? I think I fixed it. Oh, um, what's that smell? Ew, Dad, did you fart? No, I think the oven's on fire. <laughs> ah, abandoned ship. Just kidding, I think it's gonna be okay. Oh, Dad, seriously. <laughs> you really freaked me out there. Where's Daisy? Daisy! Just making sure all of my T's are crossed and my eyes are dotted for my schoolwork. Wait a minute. What's this? There was a school paper due today? How did I miss this? Oh, my God. This is terrible news. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Okay. What would Molly do? She always is terrible about doing her homework, and, 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 and I can't fail, so maybe I'll use her as an example. I know what she'd do. She'd fake being sick. That's how I can get out of this. I I don't feel good. Achoo! <coughs> yeah, that seems really believable. Daisy? Daisy, where are you? Da Daisy? What, what's going on? Oh, Molly. Achoo! I'm sick. You just got out of bed five minutes ago and said you felt great. I know, but it just hit me that quick. Sometimes the flu does that. 
Holy guacamole. You have the flu? Stay back, Daisy. Stay back. Marty, I'm laying in bed. You stay back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I have my mask on because I do not want to catch what you've got. Girls, uh, what are you doing? You're going to be late for... <gasps> Molly, why are you wearing a mask? Is everything okay? No! Mom, put on your mask or your hazmat suit. What? Why? Because Daisy's come down with something. What? Oh, no. Daisy, are you okay? No, Mom. I feel terrible. I can't go to school. You better put on your mask. Oh, don't worry. I have a really high immunity. I'll be fine. I've caught every childhood bug from, well, going to school for so many years. No, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. It's going to be okay. I'm sure it's just a little sniffle. Yeah, probably, but <coughs> I think I need a popsicle. Okay, Daisy. Well, I'll call the school and tell them you won't be in today. Thank you. Can I stay home too, Mom? I want a popsicle. Absolutely not, Molly. Get ready for school. Oh, man. Woohoo! My fib worked. And now I won't get detention. And now I won't get detention. <laughs> Daisy, we didn't have any popsicles, but we did have ice cream. Daisy, why are you dancing? Oh, um, no, 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 no reason. It just helps me to feel a little better. Are you crazy? You need to get in bed. You're sick. Here, I brought you some ice cream. I only licked it about mm, ten times. Ew, Molly, it's all over your mask. <laughs> Oopsie. Well, I've got to get to school. Feel better, Daisy. Thanks, Molly. That was strange that she was out of bed dancing. Who does that when they're sick with the flu? Hmm. Seems kind of suspicious to me. Hello, Brookhaven. Hi, how may I help you? Oh, hi. I'd like to be connected to Mrs. Smith. Oh, you're speaking to Mrs. Smith. I'm filling in this morning for the principal until school starts. Oh, hi, Mrs. Smith. Um, this is Laura, Molly and Daisy's mom. Oh, hello. Is this about Molly again? Oh, no. Actually, today it's about Daisy. Oh, no. What happened to my prize student? Well, she's come down with the flu bug. Oh, I see. Well... I would still like her to send over her paper that's due today, please. Oh, sure, no problem. Uh, I think I could have my daughter Molly send it over. Okay, if Molly can figure it out. Hey, I can figure it out! Mrs. Smith, you're so rude. Thanks for understanding, Mrs. Smith. Tell my most prized student, Daisy, that I hope she feels better. I will, Mrs. Smith. Bye. Okay, Molly, uh, did you hear what she said? Yeah, I was eavesdropping on the whole conversation. <laughs> Why don't you go onto Daisy's school portal and send over her paper? Okay, will do. Just gotta go get Daisy's computer. Okay, logging in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, where's Daisy's paper? It's not in her homework file. Weird, maybe I can check over here. No, no. Oh my gosh, Daisy's paper is missing. Okay, I better go ask Daisy about it. Daisy, Daisy. What, Molly? Can't you see I'm relaxing? <coughs> Very sick over here. Daisy, I I'm on your computer. What? Why are you on my computer right now? What, what are you doing? Um, well, Mom called the school. Mrs. Smith answered. Why did she answer? Um, because she's filling in for the principal till school starts. Oh, okay. Well, why do you have my computer again? Because Ms. Mrs. Smith said you had a paper due today, and she still wanted you to send it in, even though you were sick. What? That's never happened. Well, maybe because she answered the phone for the principal so she could tell mom that. Anyway, I can't find it in your school folder on your computer, and I'm trying to send it over for you. Um, uh, <coughs> too sick. I, I, I can't fix it. Daisy, you need to send this paper over. Your teacher's asking for it. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. It's so bad. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Daisy, why are you freaking out? Just tell me what's going on. I, I, I can't, Molly. It's, it's so horrible. It's humiliating. Daisy, tell me what's going on. I don't have time for this. I'm going to be late for the school bus. I... I I didn't do the paper. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, Molly? Stop it! <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's not funny. I could get detention. <laughs> oh, seriously, my stomach hurts. Stomach, give me a laugh. Molly! What? 
What is going on in here? I heard a huge thump. Oh, well, that was just me. I was laughing so hard it fell on the floor. Daisy, why are you out of bed? Molly, I told you to send Daisy's paper over to Mrs. Smith. <laughs> yeah, Daisy. Why don't you tell Mom what you're out doing out of bed? <laughs> I think I figured it out. Uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm really sick. Yeah, I'm sure she believes that. What is going on here, girls? I'm starting to get frustrated with you both. Molly, you're going to be late for school. Now send that paper. I would love to send that paper, Mom. See if you can find it on Daisy's computer. What are you talking about? You can't find it because Daisy didn't do it. What? Uh, that's not true. I just <coughs> couldn't really work on it too much because I was <coughs> dying from this sickness. <laughs> she didn't do it. Now she's faking being sick. I know because I've pulled this prank a million times. What? You have? Well, not a million, but maybe once or twice. Molly, I should ground you. No, you can't ground me after the fact. <laughs> I already did it. Daisy, is this true? Are you faking being sick? Yeah, Daisy, are you faking being sick? Huh? 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 Of course not. I'm a goody two-shoes. I would never do such a thing. Why isn't your paper done then? And why don't you want to go to school? Uh, because I'm sick. Molly, I don't really think your sister is faking it. But why didn't you do your paper, Daisy? Yeah, Daisy. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I confess to the whole thing. I faked being sick so I didn't have to go to school and get detention because I forgot to do my paper. <gasps> Daisy. Oh, my gosh. You're grounded. What? Me? Oh, my God. This is gold. <laughs> Molly, be quiet or you're going to have uh, grounding forever. What? That seems a little harsh since I actually did my paper. I mean, it might stink, but I actually did it. Yeah, you're right, Molly, but don't teach your sister. Okay, can I at least stand here and watch? Karma's so beautiful. Molly! <laughs> Daisy can trust you have to face the music. What? You gonna make me go and get detention? Absolutely, Daisy. Absolutely. <laughs> Welcome to detention. <laughs> ah! This is so horrible. How can this be happening? You shall write on the board a million times. I am the worst student ever. <laughs> <laughs> Psst, Brookie, Brookie, Molly, shh, we're gonna get detention if you keep talking to me. Would you two be quiet? I'm trying to understand what's going on here. Daisy, shh, Sheepers, you're bringing too much attention to us. Brookie, I have to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? Seriously, don't get us in trouble. I don't want detention. Brookie, do you want to come over for a sleepover tonight? Whoa, that sounds like so much fun. What are we going to do? We'll play some games. We'll maybe swim in my pool. Um, We'll eat popcorn and watch movies. Oh, M. Gee, that sounds like so much fun. Can we watch Halloween movies since it's getting so close to Halloween? Yeah, of course. We can watch Hocus Pocus, my favorite. What? Are they seriously planning a sleepover? Oh, I never get invited to a sleepover, and I love Hocus Pocus. Did you just hear Sarah talking? Not really. She's over there in the other part of the room. She kind of talks to herself sometimes. Yeah, none of her friends are in this class, so... Excuse me, Molly, would you like to share what you have uh, to say with Brookie with the whole class? Yeah, Molly. Oh, Daisy, you're such a teacher's pet. No, thank you, Mr. Smith. And Brookie, I'll see you uh, like an hour after school. Sounds good, Molly. It's Friday night, and I'm feeling all right. Do, 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 Friday night, and I'm feeling all right. Molly, what has gotten into you? Oh, yeah, cue some dance music here. Cue some dance music. <laughs> Molly, you look ridiculous. What, have you gone crazy? Crazy for Friday night? Having a sleepover, having a sleepover. Wait, what? A sleepover, really? Yep, and 
Brookie's here right about now. Brookie, I'm coming. I'm gonna dance my way to the door. Brookie, what are you doing? Oh, I was just seeing if you had a doorbell. I couldn't remember. <laughs> you just can knock. Come on in. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. My sister's dancing so bad. Hey, Daisy, are you gonna be here for the sleepover too? No, no, she's not. Yes, I am, Molly, and stop dancing and singing. You wonder why you're not invited to the sleepover. It's because you take the joy out of things, Daisy. You suck the life out of them. Molly, that's not very nice. Daisy's my friend too. Of course I want her to be at the sleepover. Oh, fine. See, Molly, everyone loves me. You should too. Okay, well, um, the first thing we could do is like turn on the movie that we want to watch. Hocus Pocus! Yeah, that's not on for another like 30 minutes though. Till then, we can watch this dog smiling. <laughs> um, well, I just put my bag upstairs so um, we can totally chill out. Yeah, let's chill out. We could veg out. I heard my mom say that the other day. She's so 90s. Where's the sleepover? Oh, here it is. Who's in my house? Ah! Sarah, what, what are you doing here? I'm here for the sleepover, duh. Um, uh. Molly, you invited the bully to a sleepover? What were you thinking? I didn't invite her. Oh, that's kind of rude. Yeah, totally. You're talking about it in my class. Actually, it wasn't just your class. We were all there. And I didn't think you wanted to be our friend since you call us losers and bully us all the time. Well, I want to be at the sleepover, so I'm going to stay. Uh, uh. Brookie, should we let Sarah stay? Well, I'm not sure we really have a choice. I mean, here she is, and it's getting late, and, well, she packed a bag and everything. Uh, okay. Sarah, but no calling us a loser and no bullying us. Okay, but I can still boss you around, right? Uh, no. Oh, great. I'm glad to hear you say yes. Well, I want to play Truth or Dare. What? Truth or Dare? Um, I think that might be a bad idea. I've heard things go very wrong with that game. Yeah, like you tell somebody a truth you didn't want them to know. Or you break a leg doing one of the deals. Yeah, we're not playing Truth or Dare. Yes, we are. I'm the oldest here, and I make the rules because of it. Um, uh, well, she has a point. She is the oldest, Molly. What do we do to play this game, Sarah? Is it like Jumanji? Are we all going to get sucked into this other world, and then, 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 then there's going to be elephants, and oh, my God. Uh, no, Brookie. Truth or dare is nothing like Jumanji. Oh, okay, good. But it can be dangerous. Everyone sit in a circle and be quiet. Okay, fine, bossy. And hello, who's gonna valet this bag of mine? What? Take care of your own bag, Sarah. Uh, no, I don't think so. Thanks, Daisy. Ay, ay, ay. How do I get roped into this stuff? Okay, we're all in a circle. Now what? Now someone says truth or dare. Shh! I'm in charge here because I'm the oldest and I've played truth or dare before. Wow, I bet she's played spin the bottle too. Whatever. Anyway. I'm going to ask whoever I want, truth or dare. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I have some questions, though. What do we say? Duh, you say either you want a truth or a dare. Ugh, just pay attention. Okay, whatever. Don't be so grumpy at my sleepover. Okay, Brookie, truth or dare? Um, uh, uh, truth. Perfect. Is it true? that you wrote a note once to Daisy saying how mad you were at Molly? Uh, um, well, that was like two years ago and and, 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 and it was just a big misunderstanding and, 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 and. What? But you're my best friend. How could you say that? <laughs> this game's gonna be really fun. Sit down, Brookie. It's your turn. Molly, I didn't mean it. I, 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 I take every word back. You feel like a traitor to me. I'm, I, I'm sorry, Molly, please. Okay, fine, I guess I'll let that go. Um, Daisy, truth or dare? Um, I choose truth. Okay, um, do you like mint ice cream butter or chocolate? What? That's such a lame question. Hey, it's her turn. She can ch ask whatever she wants. Um, actually, I would like chocolate better. Okay, fine, whatever. It's your turn, Daisy. Sarah. Truth or dare? 
Um, truth. Okay, um, why did you come to this sleepover? What? You can't ask me that. Actually, yes, she can. Because <laughs> you picked truth. And you have to tell the truth. It's part of the rules. Whatever. Okay, but this doesn't leave this room. Of course not, Sarah. We would never dream of that. I, I came to this sleepover because I was lonely. And I wanted to have some friends. Oh, that's sad. If you'd be nicer to us, we'd be a friend all the time. I don't want to friend you all the time. Just when my friends are out of town because they went to Disney without me. Ouch. <laughs> Maybe you should stop bullying them too. Anyway, truth or dare, Molly? Um, dare. <laughs> I dare you to jump off the balcony into the hot tub. What? That's against my parents' rules. She could get really hurt doing that. I don't care. It's a dare and you have to do it. It's okay, Daisy. I'll be fine. Only I think this is a bad idea. She could go home. What? No, I'm not. I want to be here. Okay, I'm going to do it. Polly, please don't. You don't have to take the dare. Actually, yes, she does or she loses the game. Okay, here I go. Okay, guys. All right, here we go. Whoa! Molly? Oh my gosh, Molly got hurt and her head's under the water. I have to get her out. Molly, Molly. Oh my God, she's drowning. Help. I got her. I got her. Oh my gosh. Someone call 911. Truth or dare, gone wrong. Oh my God, I'm sure she'll be fine. Where's my cell phone? I've got to call 911. Oh my God, Molly, hold on. Hold on. She's fading. I think she's turning into a ghost. Molly? Molly! 911, what's your emergency? My sister took a dare and chewed the dare and she fell in the hot tub and she turned into a ghost and she's dead! Oh, well, um, then we really can't help you if she's already dead. What? You're to bring her back to life! I can't do that. Um, she's already dead. Sorry. What? They just hung up on me? Holy guacamole. Brookhaven 911 stinks. One star! Well, <laughs> this has been fun, but um, I think I should probably go now. When do you get back here? Sarah! Oh my gosh. Molly's a ghost. <sighs> what, what, what happened? Molly, can you hear us? Yeah, can can you hear me? I can't see her anymore, Daisy. She's really gone to the other side. You can't look it. Wait a minute. I can't see you either. Molly, Molly! What? What happened to me? How come I can walk right through Daisy? Oh my god! Did I die when I did that dare? I can walk through Brookie too! Oh my god! My sister died playing to the tail! <laughs> what? I died playing truth or dare? O-M-G! She is for ghosts, by the way. Hey, Luke. When are you going to be home for dinner? Oh, hey, Mom. I'm going to be a little late tonight because um, I got a call and the fire station is looking for volunteers to help feed the homeless and, and they're giving them out free like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and chips and stuff. So is it okay if I go over there? Oh, sure, Luke. That sounds amazing. Wow. Luke actually volunteers to help the homeless? Ah, he's the best guy ever. Okay, honey. Well, I'll see you when you get home. Bye. Bye, Mom. Uh, hey, Luke. I couldn't help but hear you talking to your mom about um, how you were going to go help over at the, at the fire station. Uh, I, I would love to come help you. Oh, you would? Oh, wow, Molly, that's great that you want to volunteer. Yeah, I have a heart of gold. Well, we have to leave right now. Do you want to ride? Yeah, I'd love to ride in your new car. It's amazing. Wow. <laughs> your family must have a ton of money. Yeah, but money's not that important to me, Molly. Helping people is so cool. Ah, uh, you really do have a heart of gold. I try, Molly. I'm not perfect, but I like to consider myself a good person. Me too, Luke. Me too. You want to listen to some great music? I sure do. Let's do this. <laughs> I love this song. Me too. Wow. We have a lot in common, Molly. Yeah, I know. We really do. What? Why are we at the cemetery? 
Oh no, I'm just parking here because I don't want to be in the way of the fire trucks in case there's an actual fire. Oh, good point. Okay, where's all the homeless people? Don't worry, they'll be here soon enough. Ugh, they really need these peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They sometimes go days without snacks or food. Wow, that's terrible. Makes me really appreciate everything that I have. Oh, hi. I'm really hungry. I need something to eat. Oh, no problem, miss. I've got peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Lay's potato chips, and also you can have an orange or an apple. Which do you prefer? Well, my teeth aren't so good anymore, so an orange is way too crunchy. Um, I, I mean, an apple's too crunchy. I'll have an orange. Sorry, I'm not thinking quite straight. I haven't eaten in three days. Three days? Jiminy Cricket! I'd be lying on the ground if I hadn't eaten a cupcake in three days. Molly, try not to say mean things. Oh, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying, that's a long time to go without any sandwiches or fruit or anything. I'm so sorry you're going through this. How can I help you? Wow, Molly's a great person. I really like her. You do? Wow, it seems like you two are the best of friends. And you should probably be dating. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, uh... Um, yeah, um... <laughs> um, I'm not sure about that, but... I mean, Luke, you are pretty amazing. Aww. You are too, Molly. What? She has a crush on Luke? I have a crush on Luke. I have to do something to destroy this. Oh, look, there goes Sarah! Sarah! Oh, don't bother. She's probably got her own agenda. So, uh, Molly, do you want to ride home? Yeah, as soon as we finish up here, that sounds amazing. I'd love a ride home. See what I mean? You two belong together. Thanks for the sandwich! <laughs> um, either she's a singer, or she went a little crazy over the PB&J. <laughs> Time to ruin Molly and Luke's new special relationship. Ugh, makes me want to barf. Dear Molly, you are ugly and dumb, and I'd never go out with you in a million years. Love, Luke. <laughs> now I just have to deliver this to Molly's house, and boom! It'll all blow up in their faces. La 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 la! I'm so happy! Molly, what has gotten into you? Oh my god, two bunnies are kissing. That's adorable. Love is the best. Love is the best. I love love. Molly, what on earth has gotten into you? What do you mean? Everything is beautiful. You're singing like a lunatic, seriously. Ooh, I was so excited I farted. <laughs> Ew, Molly, gross. Now seriously, what's gotten into you? Besides the bean burrito I ate for lunch? <laughs> Oh, brother. Yes, besides that. Um, well, Luke likes me. He likes me. He really, really likes me. Oh, my God. You have a crush on Luke. And turns out he has a crush on me, too. Our relationship is going amazing. It is? How long have you been going out? Um, about... Well, we haven't actually officially said we're going out yet. Oh, so you're not even boyfriend and girlfriend yet? No, but we're gonna be. It's gonna be amazing. I've loved Luke since kindergarten, if I'm being honest. Who could that be? I bet it's Luke. It's Luke. He can't be away from me more than, than for more than like 30 minutes. Oh, hello. Uh, why are you saying that like you didn't know you came to my door, Sarah? I, I just, I wasn't, yeah, okay, yeah. I knew I was coming here, but I'm always disappointed to see you. Um, okay, thanks. Come in, I guess. I have this special delivery from Luke for you. Seriously? He, like, had you bring me an old-fashioned letter? Guacamole! That is... That is the sweetest thing ever! Yeah, um, open it. I, I want to see what he has to say. Wow, never took you as a hopeless romantic, Sarah. Dear Molly. Huh? Oh, just the way it's written there. Molly. Molly, he just said your name. Yeah, I know. He said my name! Okay, whatever. Just read the letter. You are ugly and dumb and I would never go out with you 
Luke? What? what? Oh, wow. Guess it's not a happy ever after, after all. <laughs> Sarah, get out of my house! Whoa, Molly, chill out. Well, she's being so rude to me about it. I mean, Luke and I, we were meant to be together. I don't think so. Pretty sure that's not the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh, Molly, it'll be okay. There's lots of fish in the sea, so they say. I don't want any other fish. I only want the Luke fish. <laughs> Maybe I just read it wrong. Maybe if I turn the letter upside down, it, it reads that I'm beautiful and he thinks I'm super smart and amazing. Okay, um, no, it's just hard to read upside down. It does say I'm dumb and ugly. Ah! That's it. I don't want this heart. This heart is painful. <laughs> Goodbye, heart. I'm flushing you down the toilet. Ugh, why won't you fix, fit down the toilet? Oh, you annoying box. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll just throw it over here in the corner. I don't want to have this heart. I don't want it. I don't want it! Mm. These Reese cups are pretty good, I guess. Molly, you're eating all the Reese's. We were supposed to share those. We got those for Easter. I don't care what you want. Whoa, Molly, what's gotten into you? Did you bonk your head? Don't talk to me that way. It's rude. You're such a nice sister most of the time. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care what you want. And I don't care if I eat your Easter candy. Bye. <laughs> Molly, what's gotten into you? Molly. Okay, class, today we're going to be learning about the love sonnets from William Shakespeare. What's that crunching sound? Molly, you know there's no snacks in class, especially loud, crunchy Doritos. I don't really care what you want. Molly, that's not appropriate to talk to your teacher that way. It's disrespectful. I don't care. I'm eating these Doritos. Molly, I worked very hard on this for you guys. I think you're going to really like this lesson, especially since you have a crush on... Don't even say his name. I don't want to hear it. And I don't care about love sonnets. I don't care about this school. And I don't care about anything. Molly, uh, you're leaving me no choice but get to give you detention. Uh-huh. Whatever. Can't hear you over my crunching. Mm. Delicious. What on earth has gotten into Molly? She's acting so strangely. This is not the sister I know. I mean, she can be a brat and a real pain sometimes. But she's not cruel. What happened to her heart? I, I feel like she stuck it in a box somewhere and forgot about it. Wait, something tells me that's exactly what she would have done. After she read that horrible note from Luke, she would have just taken her heart and, and stored it away and tried not to feel those horrible emotions. Good thing I have this heart detector that I built in my science lab. <laughs> I really do think of everything. Wait, why is it pointing me towards the bathroom? <laughs> why am I going into the bathroom? I said heart detector, not fart detector. Molly's heart? I knew she locked her heart away in her box never to feel her emotions ever again. Oh, Molly, why did you do this to yourself? Hey, where did you find that? Apparently you were trying to flush your heart down the toilet. I don't need a heart. Hearts are evil. They, they make you feel pain. Well, that's true, Molly. Everyone experiences pain at some point in their lives. But to just lock your heart away as well, it's, it's sad. I don't care. I don't care about anything. Molly, listen. You also can't feel joy or happiness or laughter or fun. What? Yes, I can. Look at me. I'm super happy. Molly, look at your face. You're practically a zombie. Well, I guess you have a point. Molly, this is not who you are. Really and truly, you're a good person. You have a heart of gold. And just because Luke broke it doesn't mean that you should give up on life. Well, I guess you sort of have a point. Now, come on, Molly. Let's restore your heart back to your spirit.
Whoa! My heart! It's back! Oh, I missed it so much! Except for that pain! Oh! Luke! Marley, try not to think of those things as much. Maybe think about the fun things, the happy things. And, well, you could deal with the pain a little bit at a time. Yeah, I guess. I should have never locked my heart away, but this letter really hurt my feelings. Wait a minute, Molly. That doesn't look like Luke's handwriting. Sometimes I help the teacher grade homework. Luke has way sloppier handwriting than that. That looks like Sarah's handwriting. Wait, what? Sarah wrote me a fake letter from Luke? Why? Only one reason, Molly, to destroy your happiness. Are you going to let her? No way! I'm keeping my heart for good! Even if it hurts sometimes. Good choice, Molly. Good choice. Where did I put my math book? Where's my math book? Oh, wait. There it is. <laughs> it was right in front of my face. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Molly! Oh, hey, Molly. What are you doing? Um, I'm just getting my math book. Why? So you could feed it to your unicorn? <laughs> I know unicorns like to eat homework. Do you want to go outside in my bikes? It's a beautiful day outside. Spring has a vibe! Sorry, Daisy. Can't. I have to do my homework. Say what? You're going to do your homework? Oh, my gosh. Who are you? What have you done with Molly? No, seriously. I don't want to have to repeat this grade, so I better get it in gear because school year's almost over. True, Marley, true. You can still pull this off and get some passing grades. I know you can. I can do better than passing. I'm too smart for just passing. I'm going to get at least B's. Well, that's a pretty good start, Molly. Now I just have to find my notebook and some paper and pencils. Mm -hmm. Wait, where'd they go? Maybe I left them over here on my nightstand. Oh, no. Oh, man. I can't find any. Ugh, I wonder if my mom has any. She's always, like, got stuff, like, in her room or whatever. Wait, wrong room. I'm lost right now. <laughs> okay, I went into um, baby Kira's room. I don't know why. Uh, maybe on her dresser? No. Nightstand? No. <gasps> I know! She probably locked it in the safe thinking I'm going to steal her paper and her pencils. And she is right. <laughs> Whoa! Mom's got stacks of cash in here. Stacks of cash. Stacks of cash. I wish these were my stacks of cash. Seriously. Oh, wait. What's that? Paper. Okay, score. I found some paper, but I need to find some pencils. Wait, somebody already wrote on this paper. What is this? Thank you for adopting Molly? Adopting Molly? What are they talking about adopting Molly? You are now... The proud mother of Molly? Oh my gosh! I'm adopted? Why didn't my parents tell me this? I, 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 I didn't know I was adopted. They lied to me! That's it. I can't stay here. I, I have to go find, I don't know, somewhere else to live. They kept the truth from me. I don't belong here. I'm adopted. <laughs> I don't understand why they didn't tell me the truth. <laughs> Molly, Molly, where are you? Oh, there you are, Molly. I made some delicious chocolate chip cookies. Since you were doing your homework, I thought I would be nice. Would you like some? No, I don't need anything from you. You're not even my sister. Molly, what are you talking about? You're being really weird. Why do you have that bag? Because I'm running away from home. Now get out of my way. Molly! What's going on? Molly, talk to me! I don't need to talk to you. You're not even my real sister. Molly! Stop it! Come back here right now! No! Um, get out of the elevator! Fine, Molly. I'll go down first, but tell me what's going on! No, I'm not going to tell you! Don't ever try to find me! You're not my real family! Oh my gosh, I have to call Mom! Something really bad is happening with Molly! Hi, Daisy. What is it, honey? I'm at work. I'm sorry to call you, Mom, but I have an emergency. Okay, what is it, Daisy? What's wrong? It's Molly. She ran away from home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Why, why is she running away from home? I don't know. She said we weren't her real family, and I wasn't her real sister, and she had to go. What is she talking about? I don't know, Mom, but I, I think you better try to find her. 
Don't worry, Daisy. I'll handle this. Thanks, Mom. I'm worried. It's going to be okay, Daisy. It's going to be okay. My whole life has been a lie. I don't want to be around those people anymore. They would have told me if I was adopted. It's just wrong. It's so wrong. Okay, where's that tent I packed? Oh, I hope it's warm enough inside the tent. I'm sure it will be. I can do this. I, I, I got my Girl Scout Wilderness badge. I'll put it right here next to the dumpster. Then I also have somewhere to eat breakfast. <laughs> Just my luck, it would start raining. Oh, I hope this tent doesn't leak. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows, cause I'm abandoned. Well, I'm not really abandoned. I sort of decided to come out here on my own. But I'm adapted and no one told me. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. What? What's my mom doing here? Oh my gosh, and I can't even run away because it's pouring outside. Molly? Molly! Oh, there you are. I was so worried. What are you doing? Why did you run away from home? I think you know, don't you? Um, no. I have no idea, but I love you and we can work it out. I ran away because of what I found in the safe. Wait, you stole all our money and now you're going to go live on a tropical island? No, but if we have enough money to live on a tropical island, why aren't we doing it? Molly, our life is here in Brookhaven. <laughs> why? I mean, we could live on a tropical island. Okay, not the point. All right, uh, just tell me what's going on. No, I don't need to talk to you. You're not my mom. Molly, that is very hurtful. Why would you say that? Because look what I found in the safe. What? What is it? It's, it's adoption paperwork for Molly, you know, me, your daughter. Why did you lie to me all these years? Oh my goodness, Molly. <laughs> Mom, what are you laughing for? This is exactly why I ran away. Molly, come here, honey. I want to tell you something. Even if you were adopted, you would be very loved. Just because you're adopted doesn't mean you're not loved. You would be my daughter no matter what. But you're not adopted. Liar! That's what this paperwork says! Molly, let me tell you a story. Can you stay calm until my story is over? Yeah, I guess. Once upon a time, I had a dog. Oh my gosh, you're such a good girl. I'm so glad I adopted you, my sweet little puppy. Ah, you look like a Molly. Now should we go for a walk, Molly, or just sit here at the park? Ruff, 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 ruff. Okay, a uh, walk it is. <laughs> come on, girl, come on, Molly. Oh, you're such a sweet dog. Um, okay, you had a dog named Molly. What does that have to do with my adoption? I mean, all that says is that you're not very creative with coming up with different names. Um, Molly, no, that's not the end of the story. You see, Molly was a good dog. She lived about 12 years, but then it was time for her to cross the Rainbow Bridge. What's the Rainbow, Rainbow Bridge? It means when your dog dies. Whoa, your dog died? Well, I don't have a dog named Molly anymore, do I? No, but again, can't you come up with any other names besides Molly? I'm surprised you came up with Daisy. Okay, look, Molly was such a special dog to me. I had her during college and when I was young and when I was lonely sometimes when I was away at college, she was my best friend. And so when I gave birth to you, Molly, I named you after her. Wait, what? You named me after your dog? I'm not sure if I should be offended or happy with this. Well, since she was the world's most amazing dog, you should definitely be happy about it. She holds a very special place in my heart, as do you. Okay, but that doesn't explain why you have this adoption paper. Molly, read the fine print. Thank you for adopting your new dog, Molly? Wait, this is a dog adoption paper? Yeah, I kept it because it just reminded me of Molly. Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry. I, I thought this was an adoption paper for me. Nope. It was for my dog, Molly. I've just kept it all these years. <laughs> now, where do you say we pack up this tent and go home? Oh my gosh, Mom, I feel so bad. It's okay. 
When we get home, you can make me some chocolate chip cookies. Ah, uh, too late. Daisy already did. Well, then you can scoop the ice cream on top. Ooh, now you're talking my language. Should we have peanut butter ice cream or vanilla? I say both. Now, come on, honey. Let's go home. Okay, Mom, but tell me the truth. Daisy's definitely adopted, right? No, Molly. Daisy's not adopted. I really think she is. You don't have to lie to me about this. Molly? <laughs> There's no way she really is related to us. I hate to break it to you, Molly, but Daisy's your actual sister. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Today's my first day of my summer job. Can you guys guess what my summer job is? <laughs> That's right. I'm going to work with the police. Well, as a junior cadet, that is. I'm not really a real police officer until I go through police academy, but I did get a job right here at Brookhaven Police Department. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, you must be our new recruit, Molly. Are you here for your summer job? That's right. Um, typically, we do not jump over the counter. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just ate a lot of cupcakes this morning, and I have a little bit of extra sugar energy. No problem. Around here, we drink coffee every morning, and then we eat donuts, and then we take a nap. Really? That's what my job is? Yeah, and you can also uh, take 911 calls here and there, but this is Brookhaven. Nothing super interesting happens. Would you like a donut? No, I already had a bunch of cupcakes for breakfast. Okay. Oh, I'm super tired, so oh, I'm going to go take a little bit of a nap. Really? Yeah, if there's a 911 call and it's a true emergency, come wake me up. Oh my gosh, this isn't the summer job that I thought I'd have. I thought I'd be busting criminals, cracking open cases that no one else can solve. Molly's on the case. But all I'm doing is staring at the wall and listening to the police officer snore. Wow, she snores really loud. Hmm. I feel like I could be of better service if I could actually crack a case. Let's get into the database and see if anything has happened lately. What's this? Looks like on the police surveillance for the bank, it, it looks like someone's trying to break into the ATM? That's it. I have to take the police car and head over there. I don't think the police officer will mind. She's fast asleep. Whoa! I'm actually driving an official police car! This is amazing! How do I turn on the lights? <laughs> I have to try to figure that out. Maybe I should actually not turn them on because if I do, then then the um the criminal will know I'm on my way. Oh, I can't drive very good! Did I mention I may have not gotten my driver's license? Oopsie! There's the criminal now! Hey! Freeze! What? What's happening? What's happening is you're getting busted there, Scarface Cash Grabber! <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> that was your name for me? Yeah, well, I think it's a pretty good one. Actually, my name is Adam Robber. Ah! Ah, you sprayed me in the eyes! Huh? I can't see anything! Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Adam Robber? Seriously, that's your name, Adam Robber? I wonder if there's anything I could steal out of this police car. I hear you! I hear. What? Okay, you're... Ah, you're gonna run me over! What? How are you in the same car as me? Get out! I, can't, I couldn't see where I was going, okay? It's not like I wanted to ride with you. But, uh, get out of the car! I'm trying to rob this! Seriously, is your last name really Robber? It was like you were destined to be a criminal. Hey! Wh where are you going? Get back here! I'm stealing this car and I'm getting out of here, of course. Holy quack, I'm only your worst driver than I am. Come back here, cash grabber! Cash grabber! Oh my gosh, I can't run fast enough. Why did I eat so many cupcakes? <laughs> okay, time to put on super speed. Ha <laughs> ha! Got you! You're under arrest! How'd you run so fast? It's called sugar. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Whatever. Adam Robber never gets put in jail. Well, today's the first day. Now get in the back of the police car. Be quiet. I said the back of the police car. Sorry. 
That's fine, I guess. Do you want me to turn on the radio? Yeah, I love 90s hits. Okay, fine. <laughs> Robber, let's go! Into the jail cell! Fine! Just want you to know that I always get out! Always! Second jail cell down here, please! In you go! Wrong one! This one! Wrong one! This one! What is that? Cop taking a nap? Pfft, lazy. Well, this cop isn't. Are you even a real cop? Yes, I'm a real cop. Get in there! Get in there! Rude! Here, I open the door now. Get in! You know, I just gotta do this, do that, okay. Can I please be unhandcuffed? This is uncomfortable. Yeah, okay, come here. Very whiny for a criminal. Thought criminals were tough. Yeah, well, we are. Oh, I have a stomach ache. Ew, gross. <sighs> well, my boss is still asleep, and I already cracked a criminal. Guess it's time to eat a much-deserved donut. Hmm, this blueberry donut's delicious. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it must be just my stomach scrawling. Mm. So good. So delicious. Oh, I think I might need a nap now. <laughs> what a dumb cop. Scarface Cash Grabber. Kind of like that name. Might start going by that. See you later, stinker! <laughs> what was that sound? It, 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 it sounded like the helicopter! What? What's that sound? Why do I hear the helicopter? Huh? Was it just a dream? Um, officer, I think we might have a problem! What? What's the problem? We're out of donuts? Um, no. I, um, forgot to lock that door over there. What, to the cell? Okay, sure. What, what's the big deal about that? Um, because I'm pretty sure that, um, Scarface Cash Grabber got out! Who's Scarface Cash Grabber? Only the most notorious bank robber in the United States! I actually caught him today. What? Yeah, but, um, since I wasn't quite sure how to be a police officer, I, well, uh, accidentally left the store open and he's gone! And the sound of the helicopter, I'm guessing, is him taking off. What?! Oh my gosh, Molly, you're not supposed to be trying to go after criminals. Well, somebody had to. All you wanted to do was take a nap and eat donuts. Well, that, that, that's my prerogative. I, I, I'm the boss. I should fire you for this. No, no, I have a plan. Don't fire me. Just just give me a couple more hours. You have until 8 o'clock Brookhaven time, and then you're fired. Okay, okay. All right, I've got to go undercover and look like a criminal. Let's see. I've got to get on my police outfit first. All of this stuff is so cute. Like, look at that little ballerina outfit. Okay, I've got to focus. Danger, yeah. I'm the most dangerous criminal ever. Let's put on a hat or something. I'm just going to, like, cover up my hair so we can't see who I am. What am I, a cowboy criminal? No, not that one either. Okay, yeah, this one's good enough. Time to go find the criminal and convince him that um, the money is being able to be stolen at the ice cream shop. Then, once I get there... Oh, wait, I probably should tell Sam this plan. Okay, here's my plan. You're just gonna get fired. Just admit it. No, listen to me, Sam. I have to tell you something. Go and wait for me at the ice cream shop. I'll bring the criminal right to you. What are you talking about? The criminal doesn't care about eating ice cream. Just trust me. I'm gonna be a good cop one day. I just know it. This is your last chance, Molly. Or you're gonna get fired. Now I have to try to find that criminal. Hey, is that the criminal's van? Of course, they're staying at this cheap motel. All right, let's go. See if we can convince him I'm a criminal, too. Is he actually in the van? There he is. Hey, man, what's up? Who are you and what do you want? Um, I was just thinking that um, you might be that Adam Robber guy. What? Wait, you've heard of me? Yeah, you're a famous criminal. I want to be just like you. Seriously? You want to be a criminal? Yeah, so much so that I came to give you a tip. W what is it? It's a ton of money. And it's the least likely place you'd ever think. Well, I already robbed the Brookhaven Bank. What else is there? The ice cream shop is loaded with money. An ice cream shop? They don't make that much money. This one does. Everyone goes to this ice cream shop because it's the only one in town. They have tons of money. Whoa. 
Well, thanks for this tip. Yeah, if you don't mind, I'll come along with you. Wait, wait, I want, I want to be just like you. You don't even have to give me any of the money. I, I just want to hang out. All right, I guess I could make you my criminal in training. <laughs> but like I said, you don't get any money. Yeah, okay. I don't have to have any of the money. Can I have an ice cream cone, though? I'm kind of hungry. I don't care if you eat an ice cream cone. Jeez. Try not to be annoying. Yeah, okay. Come on. Let's go get some ice cream. And a lot of money. Yep. Lots and lots of money. <laughs> Time to steal some cash. Mm-hmm. Sure. Hmm. Getting any money yet? Doesn't look like there's as much money as you thought there was. Well, I'm sure you'll get lots of money. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hold it right there, criminal. You're under arrest. What? <laughs> Remember me, Scarface Cash Grabber? I'm just gonna run out the back. Good luck with that, it's a dead end. What? Oh my god, I've got nowhere to go! Yeah, except for prison. <laughs> Ow, you hit me with the door. You know, I'm cool. And this time, I've gotta remember to lock the door. Very good job, Molly. I'm proud of you. Does that mean I'm not fired? That means you're not fired. But you're not allowed to go on assignment by yourself anymore. Okay, well, does that mean you'll stop sleeping and eating donuts and actually take me on an assignment? Yeah, we just got a 911 call. Very serious. Really? What is it? A cat is up the tree. Can you believe it? Oh, brother. Let me out of here. I don't deserve to be in here. You do the crime, you do the time, Scarface Cash Grabber. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna just send a message to Luke and see if he wants to come over and play. Hey Luke, it's me, Molly. Are you there? Hey Molly, let's video chat. Okay, um, yeah, so I was wondering, do you want to come over and hang out with me and Daisy today? Sure, I'd love to. Um, what do you want to do? Do you want to go swimming or something? Yeah, that would be super fun if it's not too cold out now. I don't think it's cold out. It's, it's still pretty hot outside. Okay, cool. Yeah, when do you want to come over? Mm, say, like, I don't know, a few minutes. Sounds good. See you then. Bye, Luke. Bye, Molly. Cool. My friend is coming over today. Did you hear that, brightly colored unicorn? My friend Luke is coming over today. It's going to be so much fun. Why can I not pick up my unicorn? Unicorn, I want to play with you. Stop it. Okay, there we go. Sparkles, you are being so stubborn. <laughs> good thing you didn't eat my homework today. Or I'd get detention. Then Luke couldn't come over. That would be awful! Do, 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 do. Molly, what are you so happy about? What? Can't a girl just be happy? Huh? 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 Not if it's you, Molly. You've always got something to be grumpy about. Me? No, I don't. I'm not grumpy at all. I'm having a great day. I know. That's why I think it just can't be you, Molly. Hey, I'm not grumpy every day. Every day you have to do homework, you all. What are you reading, Daisy? I'm reading the Harry Potter series. Again, Daisy, that's all you ever read. Can't you pick a new book? No, I like this series a whole lot. Yeah, it is pretty good. Now you couldn't tell me why you're so happy, Molly? Okay, I'll tell you. Maybe, if you pay me $10. Molly, I'm not paying you my allowance to tell me why you're happy. Never mind, I don't care why you're happy. Hmm, what's that delicious smell? Never mind what it is, Daisy. Ooh, are you baking something delicious? Yeah, but it's not for you, it's for Luke. Luke, what? You're making him something to eat? Why? Because, Daisy, um, I, 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 well, uh, Molly, tell me right now what's going on. Okay, Daisy, I'll tell you. You're going to get super happy, I'm sure. What? What is it? Ooh, those smell delicious. Luke is coming over to play. What? He is? Oh, boy. Luke's coming. Yeah, yeah, Daisy. Oh, you have a crush on him, I know. No, I don't, Molly. I don't have a crush on Luke. Stop it. Take that back. Yes, you do, Daisy. Seriously, yes, you do. No, I don't, Molly. Daisy, come back here. Yes, you do. Hello, is anybody home? Hey, um, sorry, I can't play right now, uh, but 
Maybe later, okay? Because my mom said I could only have one friend over. Oh, really? Yeah, but don't worry. Um, Later, maybe we can go to the park when she gets home. But I'm only allowed to have one friend when she's not here. Okay, Molly. Well, have a good day. I'll see you later at the park. Sounds awesome. Bye! Knock, knock, Daisy. Coming in. Molly, get out of my room! Where are you? Daisy? I'm in here, Molly, changing my outfit. Why, Daisy? Is it because Luke's coming over? Don't, Molly, that's not why. <laughs> that's exactly why. <laughs> Molly, what's that sound? Molly, are you on my computer? Uh, no. Nope, 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 not on your computer. Molly, what's this sound then? Nothing, I'm out in the living room. Oh, okay, Molly, it sounded like you were on my computer. Me? On your computer? Never! The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Do, 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 Wow! The bro this episode of the brightly colored unicorn has got nine, like, billion, nine hundred, five hundred and ninety-seven million, three hundred and seventy-eight thousand hits. Wow. Now I see why everybody loves the brightly colored unicorn, because it's amazing. They have so many fans. Molly! Are you on my computer for real? Molly, you are on my computer! Get out of here! What are you worried? I'm gonna read your diary? Find out that you're in love with Luke? I'm not in love with Luke! Why are you wearing that fancy outfit, Daisy? Oh, this whole thing, this isn't fancy. Yeah, it is! First comes love, then comes marriage. Daisy loves Luke, Daisy loves Luke. Where is Luke? Yeah, where is he, Molly? He must be here soon. Yeah, wouldn't you love that, Daisy? Molly, stop saying that! Daisy, I don't even know where you are right now. <laughs> You're missing. Oh, where, oh, where is Luke? Molly, you're waiting at the door for me. You must be super excited about me coming over to your house to play. Yeah, I was seriously excited. Not as excited as Daisy, though. What do you mean? Molly! Uh, nothing. I don't mean anything. Hey, you want a blueberry muffin? Oh, wow. Did you make these for me? I sure did. They're delicious. I haven't had one yet. Oh, so you used me as the taste tester. What if they tasted bad? <laughs> exactly. Then you would have tasted a bad muffin and I wouldn't have. Oh, Molly. Hmm. <laughs> these are pretty good. Hmm. Yummy. I've got to wash my hands, though. They were kind of sticky and crumbly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm still learning how to make muffins. Hi, Luke. It's me, Daisy. Daisy, Luke knows who you are. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's me, Daisy. Hey, Daisy, how are you? I like your outfit. Uh, uh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, brother. I can tell this is not going to be a fun day to play outside. Why is that, Marley? Because, Daisy, you're acting all crazy. I am not, Marley. I'm acting totally normal. <laughs> Why are you randomly laughing, then? Oh, yeah, that's right. You have a crop. Marley, don't say anything. Just say another word. What are you guys talking about right now? She's not talking about anything. <laughs> I, I'm glad you like my new outfit. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like your outfit too. Baby Kira! Baby Kira! Okay, where's Baby Kira? She went past you, Molly! Ooh! Baby Kira, I'd like you to meet my friend. I don't think you've ever met him before. Baby Kira, don't eat all the muffins! Oh! It's okay. <laughs> Hi! I said, woo! Okay, I think she likes you. Her her name is Baby Kira, and this is my good friend Luke. Hi, Luke. Oh no, don't tell me! Not another sister! What? What's going on? Nothing, Luke. Come on, let's go outside. Oh, both of my scissors are so annoying with their crushes on Luke. 
Look, we got a trampoline. It's super fun. Boing, boing, boing. Whoa, you got a trampoline? That's amazing. Yeah, we had to do a lot of chores for it. <laughs> well, I guess it's not bad you had to work for it. Yeah, if you don't mind working but me, I'd rather just hang out and eat a cupcake. <laughs> Molly. I should touch over my look. Ooh. Baby Kira, are you just going to follow us around all day? No, no, Molly. Oh, my gosh. My sister is telling me what to do now. Okay, whatever, baby Kira. Whoa, this is so much fun. I can see the whole neighborhood from up here. Yeah, you can see Pizza Planet, my favorite restaurant ever, besides McDonald's. I love Pizza Planet. Day. Baby Kira, you cannot go on a play date with Lou. <laughs> oh, Molly, you made baby Kira cry. It's okay, baby Kira. Don't cry. Oh, no, this isn't going to be good. Yeah, I know you like Luke, baby Kira. Come on, baby Kira. Why don't you go inside with Daisy? That's where all the kids hang out who have crushes on Luke. What? Who has a crush on me? Oh, don't tell me it's Sarah from school. No, it's my baby sister. Oh, that's so cute. My sister's first crush is on my friend Luke. Oh, she's so cute. Cute little baby. <laughs> baby Kira, come on. It's time for your bottle. Say bye-bye to Luke. Bye-bye, love you. Oh, she said she loved you. Bye-bye, baby Kira. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, da 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 ba 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 Okay, baby Kira, come on. You can play in your room and drink your bottle. Don't keep following me and Luke around. Hi, yeah, yeah, guys. Can you believe it? Both of my sisters have a crush on my friend Luke. Oh, this is getting crazier and crazier. <laughs> Oh, hey, Dad, what's up? Hey, Molly. Ah! What's on your face, Dad? That's so creepy! Oh, sorry, I just got a wasp's nest over here that I'm spraying for. I don't want you girls to get stung. Oh, wow, Dad. I thought you were wearing your Halloween costume. Creepy! Hey, Daisy, what you doing? Daisy, 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 Daisy. Good thing I'm doing, Molly. Not all of us want attention. I'm actually doing my homework. Duh. Homework? Schmomework. Where you been, Molly? You went on the bus. Yeah, Molly. Where were you? You're late. Um, the she had detention again, I bet. Daisy, shh! Did you have detention again, Molly? Um, yeah, but I didn't mean it, Mom. I swear. I, I accidentally forgot my homework at home because I took my new backpack to school and look how tiny it is. I didn't have room for my homework and I accidentally forgot it. And, and then a pink elephant sat on it. What? A pink elephant? Yeah, seriously, there was a pink elephant in my room this morning and she's lying! Okay, Molly, well, just go wash up for dinner. She doesn't get a punishment for that? Daisy, mind your own beeswax and do your homework, please. <laughs> I didn't even get in trouble. Oh, yeah. Ma, 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 what's for dinner, what's for dinner? Ma, 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 what's for dinner, what's for dinner? Ma, ma, ma. Oh, she's the most annoying person on the planet. Daisy, please be nice to your sister. I'm always nice to her. She's rude to me. Well, you were rude to her right now. She was just being silly and singing a little song, and you were very grumpy. Yeah, Daisy. Yeah. Molly, be quiet. Mom, I got my homework done. Um, I was wondering, um, could I go outside and play? Uh, we're about to have dinner, so not right now. Molly, did you finish your homework? Uh, no, I just got home. Mom, can I have a snack? Well, Molly, we're about to eat soon. It won't be a big one. I'm just starving. Yeah, okay. How come she gets to have a snack before dinner? Something tells me that's not right. Oh, Daisy, just mind your own beeswax, please. Yeah, Daisy, mind your own beeswax. Mm, mm. She's not even eating a healthy snack. How is that allowed? It's allowed because I'm starving and I want to eat this Reese's Cups. Mmm, so good. Molly, you're the naughtiest ever. I don't even know why I pretend to be good. I mean, everybody else is bad and gets away with it. Daisy, what's come over you? This isn't like you. Thanks for the treat, Mom. You're the best. 
Sure thing, Molly. Just try to stay out of trouble. No promises, Mom. <laughs> Daisy, what are you doing? I'm jumping on the couch. Holy guacamole, this is fun. Where has this activity been my whole life? <laughs> Mom, Daisy's gone crazy. Or maybe an alien abducted our real sister. But my real sister, I mean. But she's gone crazy. What are you talking about, Molly? I don't want to be good anymore. I'm going to be naughty. Whee! Daisy, do you want to be grounded? Yeah, Daisy, you want to be grounded? You want to be grounded? Molly, what are you doing? I'm just trying to show her that only I can be naughty. Why isn't she getting threatened to get grounded, huh? Well, because Molly is... Uh, uh. Yeah, exactly. I'm tired of being the nice one. I don't get any rewards if Molly gets away with everything. I'm going to be naughty! Daisy, come here. I want to talk to you. Okay, what is it? Yeah, Mom, what are you going to tell her? Molly, you just be quiet, please. All right, fine. You don't want to be naughty, Daisy. You want to be yourself, which is good. Nope, no way. Not going to do it. All right, let me just give you a glimpse into your future. Huh, another day working at Brookhaven Bank. Hands Seth, give me all the money. Daisy, what, what are you doing here? I haven't seen you in three years, I think. I said, hands up, give me all the money from the bank. Seriously, you're gonna, you're gonna rob your own sister. No, I'm gonna rob the Brookhaven Bank. Get out of here. I know you're just joking around. I'm not joking. Now get moving. Ah! Daisy, you sprayed me with a fire extinguisher. Knock it off. I've got to get back to work. I said, give me the money. Daisy, you're a criminal now? You rob banks? That's right. Not even care if you're my sister. Now get in there and give me the money. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. My sister's a criminal. Where's the money? Oh, whoops. I forgot the money. <laughs> That's upstairs. I just went out back to, like... Try to make my brain believe that you were actually going to rob this bank. Okay, now where's my key card? Oh, nope, that's a Reese cup. <laughs> that won't work. Get moving! Hey, fine. I have this delicious blueberry donut from Dunkin' Donuts. Would you like that instead? No! Give me all the money! Wow, Daisy, you really have turned to the dark side. Daisy, you're going to prison for this. Only if I get caught, duh. Okay, what was that safe combination again? Open the door already! Okay, I, I don't remember what the combination is. No one's ever asked me for this much money. I'm going to spray you with this if you don't hurry up. Okay, fine. Uh, knock, knock. Is anybody home? The key card goes in there. Here you go, Daisy. Here's all the money from Brookhaven Bank. Every single citizen who's worked in this town to put money in the bank and you're stealing it all. Yeah, don't care. Give me it. Daisy, are you going to come to Thanksgiving dinner? No! What about Christmas? Absolutely not! Now let me out of here! I'm stuck! Okay, fine. Here you go. We'll miss you at Christmas, especially since... What? Are you stuck at the door? I'm stuck! Out before the cops come! Oh, this could be a way I could trap Daisy. No! Don't trap me! Definitely not buying you a Christmas present this year. Goodbye forever, Molly! Daisy! You don't have to do this! No! Come on, my trusty horse. We're out of here. Wow, Daisy learned how to ride a horse. That's pretty crazy. Finally, I get a few minutes to eat my donut. Mm, delicious. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna get out of here. Five, six. Ugh, oh, this one is so loud. Hey, you want to be quiet? Wh who left the cell open? Holy guacamole. Don't worry, it was me. Because I'm going to break out of here. Uh, not so fast. Oh, man. Uh, why'd you close the door? Open it. I have to go potty. Go potty over there in the bathroom. Uh, no. That one's clogged up. Someone took a poo-poo in there and it won't go down. Ew, gross. Okay, you can use the cell next door. But hurry up. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You fell for the oldest trick in the book. Goodbye. What? 
you didn't have to go to the bathroom? Come back here! You can't take the helicopter! No! See you later, stinker! You're the worst cop in the world! Eat another donut, chubby! What? I'm chubby? Seriously? Oh, I gotta eat another donut to make myself feel better! <laughs> I can't believe my sister Daisy's gonna die! I haven't seen her in so many years! Oh, Daisy! Daisy! Who is that? You're really loud and annoying. It's me! Your sister! Molly! Oh, I couldn't tell with that chihuahua on your head. Chihuahua? No, that's just my old lady hair. Why couldn't you pick better hair? That old lady hair is ugly. Wow, Daisy, you're still bad right to the bone. Yeah, and I want to die all alone! <laughs> and that's what it'd be like if you were bad. Holy guacamole! Your life stinks, Daisy! I know, right? I don't want to wrap bags, and I don't want to die alone, and I don't want to even ride a horse. Uh, Daisy, I don't think the horse was a part of it. Uh, yeah, it was, Molly. She rode a horse. Holy guacamole! Yeah, I don't want to ride a horse. I've decided I'm going to be good. And also that Molly should be grounded for getting detention. She does have a point, Molly. What? No! Yep, Molly, two days detention means two days of being grounded. Ah, ha, 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 Molly. Ah, that's so annoying. Mom, Mom, what's for dinner? Molly, I told you we're not going to be home tonight. Uh, well, Dad's eating cheesecake for dinner. Oh, uh, no, this is just a little snack. <laughs> snack? It, oh, wow, that looks delicious. That smells delicious. Can I have that kind of snack too, Mom? No, you'll spoil your dinner, and we're going to stop and, like, have a nice dinner before Daisy's da dance competition. Wait, what? Daisy's dance competition? I'm not going to that. That's boring. Uh, I sort of think it is too, but... Dan, of course we have to go. We're Daisy's parents. See, I can't get out of it because I'm Daisy's dad, so I have to go along. So you should have to go along too. No, I don't want to. I want to stay home. Come on, Mom. I have lots of homework to do. All right, Molly, you can stay home, but I do expect you to do a few chores to help out around here. And your homework needs to get done. Yep, totally will. What about dinner, Molly? We didn't make you dinner. I'll just go to McDonald's across the street. Ugh, Molly, you really should start eating healthier. Uh-huh, what? whatever you say. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. I love this show. Come on, Daisy, you're going to be late for your dance competition. I'm coming, Mom. I'll be there in a minute. I just have to pack the last of my hair ties. Ugh, my sister's dance competitions are so boring. I'm glad I get to stay home and watch TV. <laughs> oh, I'm starving. Time to go get some chicken nuggets. Or maybe I'll get a Big Mac. I'm not really sure. Closed! Jiminy Cricket! How did you close so early? Oh, man, it's not even 7 o'clock yet. Maybe the drive is open. I don't have a car, but I don't care. Ooh, look at all this delicious stuff. Um, Cheeseburger Deluxe, uh, fries, Happy Meals... Hello? Wake up! I'm starving! Why isn't anybody working? Wait a minute, I think I can climb through the window. Oh, ow! Ow, it's dark in here! Uh, where's the light? Uh, do I have a flashlight? Oh my gosh, they just kicked me out! Um, listen, I, I need to come in here. I'm starving. There's no food in my house. Well, there is, but I have to make it, and I don't want to do that. Sorry! McDonald's is closed! Cheapers, you can't just break into McDonald's whenever. <laughs> Whoa, you smell bad. Yeah, that's because I've been working all day. Working at McDonald's is a very hard job, you know. All right, fine. Wait a minute, did she just open it back up? Yeah, but not for you, because you said I smell. Oh, fine, I don't want your McDonald's anyway. I'll just go back to my house and have to cook something, which is really annoying that I have to cook something, but you know, whatever. I can't believe I couldn't get chicken nuggets. This is so annoying. All right, what do we got here? Baby food? Well, um, that's baby Kira's, but that could be a really easy thing to eat. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, Mom has chicken nuggets here? 
Um, yes, please. Frozen chicken nuggets are like totally delicious. All right, how do I turn on the oven? Um, uh, eh. Use any one of these, an oven. <laughs> an oven would be helpful. Okay, there we go. This oven is so fancy. My mom just got this new oven. I don't even know how to use it half the time. All right, maybe I should go over here and like make like a cappuccino or something. Mm, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh wait, this is an ice cream maker. You guys can tell how much I actually spend time in this kitchen, like pretty much never. My mom does all the cooking or sometimes Daisy does. Come on, seriously, chicken nuggets. I'm starving, get done already. All right, over here I could make some like fruity juice or like drink or something. If I had the ingredients, that is. Hmm, where's all the plates in here anyway? Finally! Ow! 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 They're super hot! Super hot! Oh, but they smell delicious. All right, time to watch my favorite show and eat some delicious, ch delicious chicken nuggets. I can't even talk. I'm so hungry. Mom doesn't normally let me eat all these sauces on the couch, but since she's not here, <laughs> I can do Anything I want. Mm, these are delicious. Mm, holy guacamole. Who would think that these would be just as good as McDonald's? And I actually made them. It's amazing. Mm, I'm going to eat the whole thing myself. Now I'm not going to save any for my sister. <laughs> well, I guess I should take care of this dirty plate. I mean, Mom would probably be mad if I didn't. Hey, what's that? A note? Dear Molly. Do your homework and do the dishes. I hate to turn you in for a new daughter. Turn me in for a new daughter? Like what, like I'm a library book that she borrowed or something? You can't just trade me in, mom. <sighs> well, whatever, because I'm not doing my homework or doing the dishes right now. I'm just gonna sit here on the couch and chill. Oh my gosh, it's 10 o'clock at night. Where's mom and dad? Where's Daisy? They're never this late. Oh well. They probably just got stuck in traffic. Dad, what happened to the car? This hunk of junk is always breaking down on me. We need a new car. I don't know what you're talking about. As long as I've got my pumpkin spice latte, everything is right with the world. Mom, we're going to be stuck out here with the duck. There's bears. Well, <laughs> maybe they like pumpkin spice lattes. Honey, um, it's almost midnight and no one's coming from the car repair shop. I think they're closed. Like, I think we might actually have to spend the night inside the car. What? It's freezing out. Well, I guess we'll just make the best of it. Pumpkin spice latte for everybody. I have a whole jug of it in the car. Oh, no. Well, like your mom said, I guess we'll make the best of it. We'll just call in the morning and uh, the repair shop will be right out, I'm sure. Only one problem, Dan. Um, my phone is dead because I used up all my battery to take videos of Daisy's dance competition. Is your phone charged? Uh, well, uh, I accidentally left mine at home, but you always bring yours, so I didn't think it was a big deal. Are you two kidding me? You guys are supposed to be the grown-ups. Ah, yeah, yay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm starting to panic. I'm starting to panic. It's 1.30 in the morning and my parents aren't home. Oh my gosh, do you, do you think that that they knew I didn't do my homework or my chores again? So they abandoned me in Blocksburg? Oh no, I had a feeling this might happen. Oh, what am I gonna do? I can't live in this house all by myself. Who's gonna make me my food or, 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 or drive me to school? Wait, I could try calling my mom's cell phone or my dad's cell phone. Someone's gotta have their cell phone. I can't believe my parents don't give me a cell phone. Seriously, I have to use this prehistoric dinosaur of a telephone? <sighs> okay, here we go. It just keeps ringing. Why aren't mom and dad picking up? OMG, I think they might have abandoned me. Ugh, no wonder I smell awful. That can't be why though, seriously. Why don't they wanna come home to me? Don't they love me anymore? I'm, I'm all alone. <laughs> My entire family abandoned me. <laughs> well, I guess I should go to bed and and try to figure this out in the morning. I mean, I'm going to have to go, like, find new parents and stuff. <laughs> Mom? Dad? Where are you? Oh, wait, that's right. They, they don't live here anymore. They abandoned me. 
Molly? Molly, are you home? Are you okay? Mom? Dad? Am I just hearing things or are they really back? Guys! Where you been? I, I thought you left me forever! Oh, don't even get get us started. I, I can't believe the night we had. I thought that pumpkin spice latte was going to fix everything. Well, it didn't fix the fact that she stinks. Ah, oh, you smell so bad, Mom. What? You smell bad, too! Whoa, 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 you guys are really grumpy. Where you been? Oh, we had to sp spend the night in the car because the car broke down and, and, and it was awful. The repairman came those this morning and gave us a ride home. First thing tomorrow, we're gonna go buy a brand new car. What about this morning? Why don't we buy one this morning? This morning, I'm taking a bath and a nap. Whoa, well, I'm so glad to have you home. I literally thought you were leaving me forever. Molly, no matter how bad you are, and even if you don't do your homework, I'm still not going to abandon you. You're my daughter. I love you more than anything. What about me? Well, of course, I love you more than anything, too. Do you love her more? No, she loves you more. I love you both equally. Ah, oh, I'm exhausted. I'm going to bed. Me too. Me three. What am I going to do all day? I don't know, Molly. Go to McDonald's, watch TV. I don't care. Woohoo! <laughs> Sounds like my kind of day. Nothing like five cheeseburgers to get your day started right. Mm, these are going to be so delicious. Mm. I love McDonald's. Daisy, it's been a super long week at school. I cannot wait to go to Chuck E. Cheese, have some pizza, play some games, and just chill. I know what you mean, Molly. It has been a rough week. Whoa, watch it, Chucky. Cheapers, didn't we just say we had a rough week and you're already running into us? Whoa, Daisy, sounds like you need a piece of pizza. You sound hangry. Well, I am kind of hungry. I noticed you're very grumpy. Chucky was just trying to say hi. Yeah, right. He was getting up in my face about it. <laughs> Daisy, it's going to be fine. Let's just get some pizza, some soda, and then we can play the favorite game of all, the claw. I'm going to win a prize today if it's the last thing I do. is the best pizza in the world. I have to agree, Molly. It is very good. Hmm. I cannot get enough of this pizza. I think I've eaten like a hundred slices. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Ew, Molly, that boob smells like the sewer. Yeah, but now I have a lot more room for more slices of pizza. Hmm. <laughs> So good. Oh, Molly. <laughs> Hi, we're Chucky. Hi, we're Chucky. Welcome to Chuck E. Cheese. Molly, is it just me? Or is this show they put on with the big robot guys a little creepy? Yeah, and apparently they have more than one Chucky now. Look at them all up on stage. Oh, wait a minute. The curtain just dropped. Um, but I can still see their noses, which is probably a glitch. And they need to fix that right away because it's really creepy. Totally. Let's get out of here. I'm done with my pizza. We can play some games. Okay. La, 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 la. So many games. What am I going to play first? Oh, there's a fishing game. There's skee ball. Ooh, skee ball. That sounds like so much fun. Molly, um, there's a creepy burger guy following me. What? A creepy burger guy? What are you talking about? There's no burger guy. We're not at McDonald's. Yeah, but they are, Molly. It's just Chucky. And besides, we all know you were kind of grumpy with Chuck E. Cheese. No, Molly, seriously. Look behind you. Ugh! That burger guy is kind of creepy. It's all right. Let's just go in the other room and play the crane game. Maybe he won't follow us. I hope you're right, Molly. I hope you're right. Holy guacamole! They've gotten so many more crane games! Oh, wow. This one looks amazing. I want to turn next. I definitely want to turn next. <laughs> Are you done? Are you done yet? Molly, don't be rude. She's still playing. 
All right, here we go, guys. I cannot wait to try this game. She's already onto the other one, but this one doesn't seem to be working. Let me just see if I can get it to work. All right, there we go. Wait, is it working? Molly, I think this one um, might be broken. What? No, it's not broken. Don't say that. Never say it's broken. Molly, just try a different one. But I want a Koosh Ball. They're so cool. All right, fine. I'll go try this one. Cool crane. Four tickets. Holy guacamole. I can afford four tickets. I have like 100 from Chuck E. Cheese. Just have to put in my card. And don't tell me this one's broken too. Okay, no, good. All right, guys. Here I go. I'm going to move the claw over. I have to drop it right at the right time. Molly, I'll help you decide when it's the right time. No. I want to decide myself. All right, guys. I want one of these. Awesome little bears with the top hats. All right, I'm dropping it. Oh, no! Oh, I didn't win. No fair. That's the way the claw crumbles. <laughs> Maybe this one will work now, too. Oh, it does. Yes. Molly, when do I get a tune? Uh, right after me, Daisy. Okay, here we go. I'm moving the claw. I don't think it's moving, Molly. Well, it took my ticket to better move. Yeah, no, it's moving. All right, this is exciting. So exciting! I want a koosh ball so bad! I'm dropping it. I think I might be better with this game than you. I think not, Daisy. Oh, come on! It rolled away! That wasn't fair! Molly, are you gonna keep playing this until all your tickets are gone? Yeah, pretty much. This is amazing. All right, um, should I play this game again? Yes, I'm going to. Come on, I just need to get one of these. They're so cool. I am dropping it. Sometimes if you drop them in the corner, it works better. Because then the ball can't, like, roll away. <gasps> oh, my God. No! Oh, that's so unfair. All right. All right. I give up on that one. I'm going to go to a different one. Ooh, look at They have Kermits. They have, um, like, uh, Patrick from SpongeBob. This one looks really fun. Dizzy, are you going to try to? You're more obsessed with the claw than me, Molly, I have to say. Okay, Daisy, go around the side of it and see if I'm in the right spot. Like, go over here and, and look. Okay, a little to the front and drop. Am I going to get, what am I going to get? Oh, there's an Among Us toy in there, too. You could have gotten that pickle. Oh, I can't. I can't get anything, apparently. All right, let's try this one again. I'm not leaving until I get a toy. I want a toy. <laughs> Maybe if you go all the way back and oval. Yeah, that, that seems like a good one. Seems like a good spot. What am I gonna get? You almost had that pickle. Ay, 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 this is so annoying. All right, Molly, why do you love it if it's so annoying to you? I don't know, because I just do. The, the chances you might get a toy are like, they're like zero. Molly, do you see that weird thing coming through the wall over there? What, no, I'm trying to, I'm trying to play the game. I'm dropping it. Come on, give me a toy. No! Molly, you're gonna waste all your tickets. It's not a waste if you love the game. Guys, slam the like button if you think I can at least get one toy out of one of these crane games. Come on, guys, believe in me, please. I, I need, like, just a little boost of confidence here because I feel like I'm not getting any toys. It's making me kind of sad. I'm wasting all my tickets. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Ah! <laughs> you're being crazy right now. All right, let me take a try. All right, here you go, Daisy. Come on, Daisy, you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. I'm going for it, Molly. I'm going for it. I'm telling you, I am obsessed with the crane game in real life. Now I know I can play it for free on Roblox. I've been doing this all the time. Did you get it, Daisy? Oh! Oh, my gosh, Daisy, you almost got that. All right, let me try. Oh, yeah, yeah, Molly. I don't think you can. It's just going to keep taking your tickets. No! I don't understand. I'm obsessed with this. I must. Okay, Molly, you lined up, like, perfectly. Yeah, I think so. I think I can get that, like, little... Like noob or whatever he is. I don't know. Molly! Oh, you didn't get him. Oh, no. This silly game. Oh, oh. Molly, don't kick it. That's not going to help. Well, keep stealing all my tickets and, and, and it's broken. <laughs> uh, Molly, there's something really evil behind me, isn't there? Ah! It's that creepy burger guy. You think my games are dumb? Well, what do you think about this? Daisy, I think he's putting us inside the claw machine. Uh-oh, Molly. He's evil. <laughs> ah, Daisy, help. Molly, be careful. Run. Daisy, it's it's too late for me. <laughs> oh, what just happened to me? Oh, my gosh. I'm in the claw game. OMG, I'm one of the prizes and- Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh!
Molly, I can't believe this. W -w 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 prizes. Uh, yeah, this is probably not good. And look at that claw. It's pinchy, pinchy. Ouchie, ouchie. I knew it was a bad idea to come to Chuck E. Cheese. This is making me fairly upset. I can't figure out why I have such a big head. Is it because I have such a big brain? I doubt that, Molly. Oh, very funny, Daisy. Um, look, we're not toys. We're not prizes. Let us out of here. I don't think she can hear us, Molly. And I think she wants a prize. She's obsessed with the claw, just like you are. Well, she can't get us. Look at her. She's terrible at the claw. Why are you just, like, going right there? You have to move the claw. Don't help her, Molly. We'll be her next prize. Um, yeah, that that's that's probably a bad thing, huh? Well, Molly, maybe we can find a way to escape here. I don't know, Daisy. I think the only way to escape is to be collected. Oh, no. I don't want to be someone's prize. Hey, this guy's rude. This other toy in here is, like, beating me up with a, with a baseball bat. What? Where's my baseball bat? Don't I get one? I apparently not, Molly. Just that way. Ah! Oh, no! She almost got me! The claw cannot get me, Daisy. Ah! Too late! She's collected me! Well, hopefully she's nice, Molly. Um, have a nice life. Daisy, as soon as she collects me and puts me down into that thing, I'm out of here, Daisy. I'm out of here. I, 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 I'm gonna run for it. You should get collected, too, and then you should run for it. Okay, Molly, we'll both run for it. And maybe we'll get out of here. I hope so. Is she ever gonna drop me into the, 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 like, the toy thing? Okay, we're, we're out of here, Daisy. Come on, run! Okay, I've gotta find an exit. There's gotta be one here around here somewhere. Wait, let's go this way, Daisy, this way! Oh, it's like an abbey. If we get out of here, then, um, maybe we can be turned back into our normal selves. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, did I just get put back into the claw game? No! Daisy? Uh, sorry, Molly, but it turns out that now I'm in charge of the claw. Daisy, no! How could you? You went over to the dark side! Evil! Well, Molly, I think maybe you're finally over you, your possession with the claw. <laughs> think again, Daisy. Think again. You can never escape the lore of the crane game. <laughs> what? What? Whoa! Ooh, this crane game is so fun! I gotta keep playing. Gotta keep playing! Good morning, students! Good morning, Professor Smith! Good morning! I see a bunch of you are out with the flu still, but the three of you have decided to show up for class, so... Welcome, Fall! Welcome, Autumn! Your assignment is on the board since Autumn has begun. I know! Halloween is right around the corner! I can't wait, Professor Smith! Well, <laughs> since you're excited about this season, your assignment is to collect leaves to study as a class. So, after school today, that's your homework. Everyone needs to go out and collect some different leaves from trees so we can identify them and study them under the microscope. Actually, that sounds like a fun time to me. We could go get a pumpkin spice latte from, from um, Starbucks and then like look at the pretty leaves and... Ugh, that sounds like a snore fest. I'm gonna play Roblox. Actually, that sounds fun to me too, Daisy. Come on, Molly, we could all go together. <sighs> all right. See? <laughs> Sounds like you guys have it all planned out. Now, pop quiz! Pop quiz? Oh, man! <sighs> School really fries my brain. It fries my brain! Molly, you just need a pumpkin spice latte. Actually, what I really need is a cupcake. A cupcake! Let's go to Starbucks and get one. That sounds like a fabulous idea to me. Well, I finished my homework and study hall early, so I took off and went over there and got one. You didn't bring us anything back? Rude! Well, I'm about finished with this one, so we can go get another one. <laughs> you can't have too many pumpkin spice lattes, can you? Uh, not really. It's autumn time. You need to drink as many as you can. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you? Hi, I like one um, pumpkin spice latte and um, um, a donut, a chocolate chip cookie, and a cupcake. 
probably guacamole, Molly. Hey, I didn't say you could take a bite out of it. Sorry, my shift doesn't end for another three hours and I'm starving. Well, why don't you buy yourself one? Sorry. Um, name please? Uh, my name is Fartolomew. Fartolomew? What? Wait, you, you gonna be rude to me about my name? I mean, it's what my parents named me. Molly, your name is not Fartolomew. It is Fartolomew. And, you know, just so you know, the kids bully me and call me Fart at school. Oh, that's horrible. I'm sorry, Fartolomew. Um, you can go take a seat. Your order will be right up. And don't worry, your nickname won't be Fart with me. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Fartolomew will just be sitting over here. <laughs> My sister is so ridiculous. Molly, you're such a prankster. Hey, you're supposed to be calling me Fart for short. Uh, Molly, nobody would name their kid Fart Ptolemy. I don't know, our parents might. They're kind of quay quay like that. Fart Ptolemy, your order's up. <laughs> Every time she says Fart Ptolemy, I just, I want to pee my pants. I laugh so hard. <laughs> wow, look at that tree. I bet that would have amazing leaves to take in to Professor Smith. Mmm, this cupcake's delicious. Molly, are you gonna help us with this science project at all? Um, mmm, oh my god, I'm just eating my snack. And I'm super thirsty. Come on, Daisy, it seems like Molly's kind of busy eating her snack right now. We'll get some of these leaves and we'll have them for our, our class tomorrow. Sounds good. I'll go around the back and you just shake the tree a little bit. What? No, I was going to chop down the tree. What? No, you can't chop down a tree. What did it ever do to you? Okay, no fighting. Just take the leaves peacefully. No need to chop apart the tree, Brookie. Well, I guess you're right. <laughs> Silly me. Hey, guys, look at this. I found something. Yeah, probably another boring leaf. Mm, this donut's way more entertaining. What is that thing? I don't know. It, it's making a lot of beeping sounds. Well, can you eat it? Molly, not everything interesting in life is food. Speak for yourself. Mm, this is delicious. Molly, will you ever stop eating and help us with this science project? Uh, yeah, of course I will. Holy guacamole, it's beeping like crazy and pointing right at Molly. Wait a minute. Let me get a look at that bookie. The lie detector 3000? Oh, man, these are so expensive. I wonder who left this here. I don't know, but it tells you if you, somebody's lying. Yeah, watch this. Molly, are you going to do your homework tonight? Um, yeah, I'm sure I will at some point. See? It's detecting that Molly is lying. Wow, that thing is pretty accurate. Oh, I'm so stuffed from eating all that food. Now I know that wasn't a lie. Hee <laughs> hee, don't even need the lie detector for that. Daisy, let me see that thing. Uh, Molly, I feel like you could get in a lot of trouble. I don't know about that. Daisy, give it to me! Daisy, I have a question. Uh-oh, Molly, don't ask me a bunch of questions. Do you have a crush on Luke? I'm not answering that, Molly. Wait, you have a crush on Luke? Daisy, are you serious? You never told me. Um, uh, um, yeah, I do. Oh. Whoa, she didn't lie, because the lie detector didn't go off. Guys, do you realize what this means? It means we can tell if our parents are telling fibs, if our teachers are telling fibs, if the class bully is telling a fib. This could be very useful. <laughs> hey, Molly. Whoa, what you got there? And how was school today? Oh, this is just something for my science class. Don't worry about it. it it's just something we built in science class. It, it's, it's no big deal. Oh, okay. What's for dinner, Mom? Um, we're having liver and sauerkraut. What? Ew, why are we eating that? Because it's so healthy. <laughs> Ma, you're lying to me right now. That's not actually healthy. Why are you feeding me that? Wait, you you knew I was lying? Well, well um, yeah. 
Okay, yes, I told a fib. It's because, well, it was all I had in the freezer and I've had it there for like a year, but I didn't get time to go to the grocery store, so I just decided to cook it up for you for dinner and make you think that it was healthy. I'm sorry I lied. Parents aren't perfect! Um, I think this calls for a trip to McDonald's! Okay, whatever you say. I just feel like a bad mom because I told you a fib! Um, okay, Mom, it's all right. Uh, we can get Happy Meals. Everything will be great. Hey, Daisy, what you doing? I'm doing homework. <laughs> Lies! What are you actually doing? What? Oh, man, you forgot the lie detector still. Um, well, I was doing a little bit of shopping. Oh, you're such a fashionista. That thing is definitely in the wrong hands. Give it to me, Molly. Not a chance. Me and this lie detector are going to get to the bottom of a lot of people. And we're going to figure out exactly whether they're honest or not. <laughs> Today's going to be super fun at school. <laughs> the lie detector will tell all. Oh, there's Savannah. Oh, look who it is. It's the loser. Wow, you've been hanging out with Sarah a lot, apparently. Because now you've turned into a bully, Savannah. What are you doing with that giant backpack full of cookies? Um, they're in case I get hungry. Duh. Whatever, loser. Why are you so mean? What? I'm not mean. I'm just popular because I'm a cheerleader, which makes me so happy and so much better than everyone else. <laughs> I don't think so. I think your heart is full of fluff. What? What did you say? You feel empty inside. You don't really even want to be a cheerleader, do you? Why would you say that? Of course I do. <laughs> Lie detector says, I don't think so. Wait, what? You, you have a lie detector? Yep, and it sees right through you. Give me that dumb thing. I'm going to break it. Don't come any closer, Savannah. You, you, you can't take it from me. Whatever. Give it to me. Hey, get your hands off of that. Whoa, 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 what do we have here? Molly, Savannah, are you fighting? No, I wasn't fighting. I'm a great student, but Molly always gets detention. She's probably the troublemaker. What? No, I'm not. Molly, my office now. Oh man, I'm going to the principal's office. Ugh. <sighs> Molly, we meet again. You are in this office more than any other student. Ah, uh, no, not any other student. Are you sure? More than any other student? Yes. Oh, man, the lie detector didn't go off. I really am in here more than any other student. What? Um, Principal Shootermaker, I, I, I'm really sorry. I, 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 I didn't mean to get in a fight with Savannah. Uh-huh, sure. Well, you have detention, and this is going on your permanent record. Permanent record? Is that what you said? Is there such a thing as a permanent record? Um, well, uh, yes. Um, yeah, I think you're lying right now to a student, which means you should get detention. What? What are you talking about? What is that thing you're holding? This is a lie detector, and it just detected a lie. Well, um, I'm a grown-up, so I can... You can lie? I don't think so. You have to take back my detention. Um, <sighs> fine. But that lie detector needs to stay in your backpack. Deal. Remember, it's never nice to tell fibs. Molly, I swear, you make me want to quit my job. Whoa, that's kind of harsh. Well, I at least need a vacation, and that's not a lie. Now go to class, and no more arguing with other students. Okay, have a great day. <laughs> this lie detector got me out of detention. <laughs>